and it showed green on my thing. Yeah, but it, there's a delay, Kurt, and then and then it goes. So probably about now is probably when the stream started. I don't no, want to do it, 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 it now. Don't. Actually, it'll, I'm on your stream right now and it's still hosting Lanny. So I'll tell you. No, it's it's showing up on mine. Like now. It, it picked up wow. And... wow, 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 Connor. Wow, way to be slow to the draw there, Connor. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome to the Unexpectables. We made it! Yay! <laughs> we made it. Woo! Thanks, Paddock. Uh, I miss Darian. He's not here to help me, and it's very lonely. Oh, <laughs> oh man! You know, you know, you. I bought. I bought. Oh, we're him. not getting Darian. I, what you're saying? I bought. I bought him and his girlfriend ice cream after the episode last week. So that's good. That was fun. That was it worth was hours nice. of time. <laughs> well, <laughs> I probably she probably gonna buy him a Gundam. Bitch. Okay, well, no one, everyone. Knows. No one tell him that. Zeno, thank you for the sub. Guns are <laughs> guns are crazy. Thank you for the sub as well. Uh, Connor, where can they find you? Aside from the live on Twitter at CNL Snake. Oh, yeah, it is true. You can find me on Twitter at CNL Snake. They can find me on Twitch at Distortion Devil, where uh, uh, a bit later in the evening tomorrow, we'll be having the uh, final RIW show of the season. Legendary action. Mm. Uh, all the titles are on the line. Grudges will be settled. And the main event is Wolfgang Connolly versus Elliot Connolly for the Eldritch Blast Championship. That's good. It's father versus son in the main event. And then on Friday, we've got uh, Friday Funhouse, which I'm slowly transitioning over to a uh, game show style mm. thing where I bring in people from my streams. I really would love to host a shitty internet edition, The Price is Right, for you guys. I'd love to do that. <laughs> Actual retail That's... price. There's some goofy things you can find. I I'd love to do that, so. Indeed. You need uh, the... But yeah, that's slowly what it's becoming. Saturday is going to be The Witcher 3. We started the Hearts of Stone DLC. And Sunday is going to be more character creation. We made Polyglot, a, a level 13 character that knows every language in D&D. &D. God. <laughs> Jeez, oh man. We're going to push the boundaries even further next week. I just need to, or this week, I just need to decide what we're doing. Nice. Hey, Zeno, where can they find you? Oh, you can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zeno. No big whoop. You know, I'm just stretching out here. I'm just flexing on the stream. Okay, want a flight Amber. about it? Yeah, want a flight about it? Uh, yesterday, uh, I actually, not yesterday, uh, Monday, I actually experimented a little bit. Uh, Connor knows because his race is in it, but uh, the fine folks at Loot the Boss, uh, a, a publishing company, made this kick-ass book called The Unlimited Race Creator. Uh, I took a bunch of chats, dice rolls, and we made fucking wacky, stupid shit playable. Like uh, a worm, a time worm that can turn into sand and is time in memoriam, but only lives for 10 years. Oh, worm? Mm. Yeah. A lot of fun. Anything else you got going uh, on in your streams, dude? <laughs> so Sorry, we, gotta, gonna be... we have only have a set amount of time. Sorry. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so come back tomorrow i'm gonna to be playing around with that a little bit more we instead of the random one this time will be different we'll be actually i'll be actually taking suggestions and we'll build a, an entire race proper uh and i do have a bunch of indie games on on the back burner to play on stream distance parkour meets racing uh void bastards update rivals of Aether workshop noita which was made by the baba is you team and uh monster sanctuary you got your pokemon in my castlevania Alrighty, awesome. Goomba, where can they find you, dude? You guys can find me at twitch.tv forward slash gaijin Goomba, no H. Uh, unlike everyone else, I'm kind of just doing some regular stuff. Uh, got done through Untitled Goose Game, which was an absolute blast. I might go back into that and do some of the in-game stuff. Uh, yeah. But, uh, exactly. Uh, however, I am knee-deep in uh, Link's Awakening remake for the Switch. That's I've mixed opinions about that, but overall it's fun. Uh, or possibly getting back into Monster Hunter Iceborne because I still have to beat that, and it's always a you don't to play with beat, you guys. You don't beat that game. You beat the story. Uh huh. <laughs> so I'm beating you also the story. Beat monsters. Yeah. Yes. So join join me for the Monster Huntings because everyone forgot about that game apparently because everything else came out. And we're gonna Monty, forget it more the week's expansion, man. Where can they find you and what's going on over on your streams? Money! 
Oh, sorry, you were talking to me. I apologize. I didn't hear my name. What going on, uh, your streams? Well, this week there's not going to be any streams because I'm going to TwitchCon. Yay! Tomorrow. I'm going to America. I have two goals: to meet up with Joe Cat and to eat Krispy Kreme, and I better achieve one of those things. I don't think Krispy Kremes um, are in San Diego. Yay! <laughs> we'll find out. Um, eat at the uh, airport. Well, the following week, uh, when I get back, I believe... Oh, shit, I'm sorry. I should have checked the date. On the 4th, which is going to be the Friday, uh, I'll be getting my cat, so I'll be going kind of dark at that point. Um, but uh, Thursday the 3rd, I should be back to streaming uh, Skies of Arcadia at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'll be uploading the episode before I leave, hopefully. And then Sundays are kind of a variety. I kind of want to play the Goose game and be an, el an agent of chaos. I think that'd be really, really good for getting blowing some steam. Zinch's ah. plans are always truly chaotic. And speaking of which, we, I think we should make a uh, disclaimer here that this is yeah. going to be the last episode of The Unexpectables for... Yes. Four weeks! Until month after next month. I also want to preface yeah. this because I've seen people complaining about this. I don't get a vacation, guys. Nope. Like, like ever. <laughs> I, I didn't get a vacation <laughs> over the summer. I don't get a vacation at all. This is my only time to have a vacation. So... Uh, Marster had um, to do that for... He Marster had to use his damn wedding for an excuse. I've gone for yeah. a bit, guys! I'm sorry. <laughs> Fucking yeah, just jumps sorry in the... that you have to... I, I have... I'm, I'm sorry that you have to watch my show instead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no! no! But like, but like, I just want to clarify because people think like, oh, like, what's going on? It's just like, I'd like some time. I have some house stuff I need to do. I also need to study for things and I need to take care of pets mm -hmm. and things like that. It's just like, I can't do events that last more than a day in my life. So <laughs> I'd like to do some events that last more than a day in my life yes. <laughs> for once. Okay, um, so, but in the meantime, yeah. everyone in the chat, people on this voice call, next month it's time for Orcs. 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 But continuing on with the meeting, all orcy things are increasing by a lot of percent. Mmm. All his horse clap. It's the crew part two. The crew two. Oh, it Matt, it rhymes. I love mm. that. Can we do the like the next one? Do the crew, the third one, or like no. the, the one that comes after two? No, we gotta do the crew origins. That's next. It's 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 the <laughs> crew, the third. It will be that one. The crew, the <laughs> begun. The crew, the begun. The third one, the one that comes after two. <laughs> the three. The crew beguning. <laughs> <laughs> Number, if we do a fourth one or if we do some other formula for it, the crew, plenty, plenty, just non stop the crew. The crew, crumpening. The second crumpening. <laughs> Guess what? You Orcs. have five minutes. Oh, we do have five minutes, guys. You can check me out here. We had, of course, a pay per view uh, limit break yesterday. It was a lot of fun. One of my favorite streams we've done in a long ass time. Bosco is a, is a gentleman and a scholar, and I love him as a friend. Um, as well, uh, I will also yeah. not be streaming this weekend because I'm also playing Chaperone at TwitchCon with my sister, Monty. Oh, what the fuck? No, right, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm having a chaperone. You. That's, uh, oh. I will go. get to what I just saw. Don't worry. I will get to what I... Good God. Um, but no, we will be down there. I think we're doing a signing uh, either Friday or Saturday. I do not... I will tweet it out. And that's it. We'll be around the con, I think. And uh, yeah, I'll be wearing a lies mask, so you'll probably see that around. So she's gonna have that mouth. She's gonna be kind of rocking that mouth of Sauron look. Yeah, hmm? I, I'm worried I'm gonna scare people because some people are freaked out by the mask, and I'm like, okay. No, I'm just sorry. say, just say you're hiding your true your true intentions, and they'll believe you. Wait. You're you're gonna you're going to TwitchCon. Everyone's weird or scary there. Yeah. That's what Hi guys, I'm Corey. All right. Ah, uh, we got a lot to do. We got to <laughs> <laughs> Man, is it weird that I can reference the Family Guy and it's funny now? Is it is that a weird thing Whoa. we live in? The Corey <laughs> shit last season time. was fucking hilarious. Hi guys, sorry I accidentally joined ISIS. All right, let's do some. That was actually an episode. That was. Oh no, I know it was just, <laughs> just everything involving that the the, the the media influencer is fucking funny. I just Alrighty. Beware the IRL streamers. Yeah, that's the one thing, Monty, I was gonna tell you. The second we land, just expect a camera on you. 
Everyone be streaming okay. real life stuff. Not just at computers. People are going to be walking fan. around with their rigs. This happens at anime yeah, cons. I've, a seen, fair... I've seen that. They had that at a, at a, a little tiny con here. There was like a cosplayer mm. who was doing that. Yes. About it. That is going to be everywhere at TwitchCon. But nonetheless, unfortunately, you all won't be there. But I'll still thank you for the subs and the bits. The let's ski, bro. 835, thank you so much. Roliana, Zeus Moose, King's Grimoire, Alcoholic, Housen, 666, the number of the beast. Protoss 103, PDS Plays Games, Viral Tech, Strange Birdie. Yes, Birdie, not Biddy. Strange Birdie, Dragon V Cat, a happy nobody. Fly Suit 47, Fike 6767, Bravo Fox 112, 122, sorry, Gray Beast 1995, Derpy Doogie, Master Monster 11, Arcane Games, Blackfoot Ferret, the Armored Owl, Lost Snail. As well as 765 Super Hugs Lord Roman Duck. Thank you all for the subs. Now to get to the next beautiful people, because there's a lot of beautiful people here today. I gotta thank you all. Alucard790 with five subs gifted to the community. Thank you so much. Golf clap for Alucard790, guys. Bravo and excellent, excellent bit drop. Probate. Hi, I've booked another vacation already. How can Every one man have so place. much anxiety? Yeah. No one man should have all that panic. It, oh, wait. I can't wait to watch Probate fight Goofy again. It was pretty crazy the first time. You joke, you joke, you joke, but Probate's mastering the art of CQC. He also, Probate also mentioned something that I needed to remember. I remember. He says, for my hot takes on Monster Hunter, I cannot use his 470 hours playtime as you proof of my scientific theory of there's no end to that game. He said he takes offense to that. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Probate, for the 10,000 bits, dude! Thank you so much, man. You deserve that vacation. Get you that get you that rest. Jay Goski with 1,000 bits. Having to catch a live game after a long day at work. And the second time, I would like to give you thanks to Monty for being an inspiration. For not just getting me to DM for my friends, but to start DMing again after getting into a rut. Happy 100 episodes, and may there be many more. 1,000 bits for Jay Goski. Well, thank you so much for saying that. Protoss, thank you for the bits. Ship man sinking ship. Well, you're on the wrong ship, buddy, because you're you. Thank you for the 10 subs gifted to the community, dude. And now let's do double strength golf clap for him. There we go. That was good. Ship man sinking ship. Thank you so much yeah. for the 10 subs. Okay, Connor, you need to <laughs> keep the orky energy for next week. All right, that's what... Just Nilon with the 600 bits. I fell asleep last week in the middle of the session, only to be awoke by a nightmare fuel voice of Omnima. I would like to nominate Monty for DM of the year. Oh, you had your greatest case scenario. You woke someone from asleep to a nightmare. Wow. I remember hearing about that, yeah. And I, all I can say is. <laughs> yes, Nilon. Thank you for the 600 You were sleeping during our show? <laughs> That's what you get. Uh, okay. <gasps> All right, now, now, now. <laughs> Blackfoot Ferret with over 9,000 bits. Happy, chronologically inaccurate Halloween, Zoo <laughs> Is that what Oo is in, like, musical form? No. <laughs> That's <-woo>. about right. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, train's coming through, guys. Let's let it go. Let it go. All right. All right, you can go now, clean. Thank you, Blackfoot Ferret, for the over 9,000 bits. You are so incredibly kind and considerate. Blackfoot Ferret, truly the nicest ferret. Sick man, uh, ship man, sick ship, thank you for the bits as well. I just wanted to thank you guys for helping me through some medical problems. Fun fact, don't get Hatter Syndrome from mercury exposure. Jeez. Oh. Well, I'm glad oh. you're recovering. We're, and we're glad that we're going to be a positive influence. Retro Royal Knight, thank you as well for the bits. Console Mutton, thank you for the 500 bits. We love to cut it, cut it. Cops on the haters. Oh! He was. He was. 500 bits. Alrighty, guys. We just got dropped. Not five. Not ten. But 20 subs from the Talbs. Four times strength. Golf clap. Ah! The Talbs. Thank you so much. What a 20 subs gifted to the community. Gotta get through this real fast here. Malcontent TV with a thousand bits. Thank you so much. Blackfoot Ferret with the late bits. Evil Limes. No, she's so nice. A bomb 13 with a 1500 bits. For Panic, thanks for Sully's vision. You got to see your mother and learn that she didn't abandon you. I think you should return the favor. Use your major illusion to share the vision of May. Ma, so she can see her mom. Okay, that's. Well, thank you nonetheless. Well, that'd be awkward. I, I think that'd be really awkward. Plus, you didn't really see her because it was based on memory, mm -hmm. which was very mm -hmm. faded. So. Uh, Icy Briz, uh -oh. Hayden Harlinson, Cobra Deck 36, Warnari, Zacco Duo, Gentlemen, 
Indigo, Corral, and Pie Boy. Thank you all for the subs. Real quest here. Last little bits here. Alucard True V, thank you for the 1300 bits. Love you guys, and you make my day. Today is my birthday. Happy birthday, Alucard. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday yeah, to I you. Get Happy birthday, dear Alucard. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, we do have them. Yeah, we have them. It's the only day we can be killed, but don't spread that around. That could really fuck me. I was born on a leap year. <laughs> got him. Uh, and we got effort. one more from here from Cobernick36. Here's to the best episode of the whole show and for a hundred more episodes. Love to all you guys. Chaos Rift, thank you for the 500 bits as well. Court Quarter, Vince Smoke, thank you all guys. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta SDF you. But nicely. Hmm. Alrighty. When last we left our heroes, Task the Cobalt Ranger, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Forky the Orc Barbarian, and Greckles the Kenku Rogue, the party escaped the depths of the Realm of Discord after a barrage of Discord devils following their call. After a hard-fought battle of bow, dagger, sword, and song, the party emerged victorious, awakening Omnima from his deceased slumber. After Panic received a harsh, harsh, quote-unquote, talking to, from Omnima, almost losing his voice to the fallen celestial in the process, if a fragment of what lies once was saved Panic and the rest of the party from Omnima's ire and teleported them to safety. But exactly to where? Awakening in a wooden glen, the party awakens confused and dazed, Panic now wielding a fragment of if and the rest unknown about what lies ahead. Alright, you guys... We leave off exactly where we left off last episode. You guys are kind of sitting around. Stupid question. Where the hell are we, guys? That is a good question. Uh, I don't know. The only true, like, um, thing that stands you're out worried, you we're in you're near an amphitheater. It's amphitheater? like broken down. There's yeah. like vines and ivy climbing up the side. You do notice there is a statue, but it is like covered with like moss and leaves. So you can't really get a good sense of what it is or who it is. How tall is Could it? Can I clean off the statue with prestidigitation? Uh, I'll say, yeah, it's easy enough. The statue is probably about okay. eight feet tall. It's like, hmm. it's on like kind of like this sort of pillar base. And then it's kind of this kneeling statue. Uh, you dust it off. You see a very maidenly face, uh, very serene, beautiful features. Um, and as you kind of dust off the rest, you see um, beautiful hair, and one wing kind of curls around while the other wing kind of is outstretched in, in very intricate detail. Roll a knowledge religion. Okay. Knowledge religion going to be. Oh, oh. Soft 20. This either is a depiction of or a celestial of Livrosia. Female? It is female, yes. It has definitely not been cared for. I know Omnima was male, right? Yeah, Omnima is male. I don't think I ever actually asked. I just sort of assumed... Um, with with twenty, I don't know exactly who this would be specifically. It's in pretty bad disrepair, so that's what makes it kind of difficult. Uh, Monty, is there are there any sort of high trees or anywhere I can get up high on and get a good look? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, roll an acrobatics check to climb a tree. Yeehaw. That is a twenty-four. Easy enough. You jump from tree to tree like Naruto and then eventually get to the top and kind of peer out. Roll a perception check. That is... Ooh, that's a nine. <laughs> you see a lot of trees and literally nothing else. Wow, okay. I'll climb, climb back down. Wherever we are, it looks like we're in the middle of some kind of forest. I don't know if it's natural. I really hope it is, because the last time we was in an unnatural forest, uh, it ended uh, memorably. I don't think we're anywhere near Lord of Mork. Moreover, you guys all get a flash of yeah, a vlog just kind of half transparent behind you. Uh, and as you'll recall, I'm pretty sure we're on 
the material plane now. Yeah, but where? I used the sending orb, so I can't really signal for help at all. Um, it, it's day. It's daytime, right? Yeah, it's like early morning. Okay, it's morning. Uh, can you uh describe the uh broken down amphitheater? Uh, it's almost like a like imagine like a dome. But like it's been obviously cut vertically, like it's like this sort of like overhanging thing. Um, if there were like seats, they're gone now. Like it's easily been taken away. Like you do see like idle stone, but it's obviously been chewed away by nature. Um, it's very small. It's enough for like a stage play. Okay, um, I was gonna ask like what what's I was gonna it's ask. It's not massive. It's it's like is this a college amphitheater or is this the one the city built? Uh, this is like I wish I had a comparison. <laughs> it's like probably a boardwalk. Like, too. Like a boardwalk. Yeah, it's like a little city one. Ah, okay. Man, I'm getting fucking wildwood vibes all over here, and I love it. Thank you. Uh, I, actually, now that you mention it, how tired are we? Because we had no perception of time. The immediate thing that catches all of you is you all have severe tinnitus at the moment. Oh, Mom. your ears are ringing like crazy because you went from a place that is all sound to a place that, while it has birds and idle sounds, is a lot quieter. Just imagine a fucking uh, cricket chirping and it's just like all of us. Oh, God! Yeah, oh. you guys are all sensitive to sound. At this point, I'm going to say, um, I was going to mention this last episode, but I'll just mention it now. Uh, any thunder damage you guys take will more than likely succeed against you or do additional damage because you guys are very sensitive to sound. Can we sleep this off? Oh. You probably could. <laughs> I'm task is fucking setting up shop uh, near the uh, near the amphitheater. Right. Yeah. You guys kind of set up a camp. It's nice. It's got like a nice overhang, and you guys are gonna set up for a sleep. Oh god, I'm so freaking tired. Yeah, I, 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 I feel like I feel like I've been up for like two weeks or something. More like two months. What? I'm just exhausted. I mean, yeah, you've got to be like on top of everything else, the emotional burden of it all. Well, the fact of the matter is, is even though we just found ourselves out of a realm of complete sound, we're still very susceptible to the elements back in the material plane. So we're gonna have to set up guard. Can we just call it the real world? I don't think we should be so materialistic. I'll take first watch. <laughs> Cass can take his first watch. Warthy will take second watch. Warthy, okay. I'll take Dawn. Okay, then Panic can take third. Yes, I'm third. Yeah, dark of the night. Oh, good night. Mom, sleep. Oh, good night, Panic. Congrats on everything. <laughs> Keeps inhaling. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> it goes on for like, like for a good five minutes. <sighs> how many he's got sleep like, apnea? How yeah. Many fucking bird. How many like fucking insects has he swallowed in those five minutes as they went past him? Like why a I, mouse runs across his mouth and gets sucked in admit, and disappears. Admittedly, Monty's been letting me write off half rations for the amount of bugs Borky's eats through his sleep apnea. It's really some next <laughs> level uh, role play. Survival. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Task, you're up first. I want you to roll a perception check for me. Here I go, doing the perception. That's a ten. Ten. Easy enough, and there's a reason why. While everyone else goes to sleep. Rain begins to roll in. Oh. You guys are kept completely dry by the amphitheater as this rolling storm comes in. Hash just does that, like, fucking, like, stitch just entering on Earth, and it starts raining, and he does that hiss. <laughs> uh, beyond that, nothing else eventful on your watch. Poke Forky on the side with the end of my bow. Uh. Uh. Here we go. God, what do I have to say to, to, make, to make you keep doing it so I can sleep? Da oh, he's asleep. Damn it. <laughs> All right, work. You I... roll a perception check. Uh... And Worky is going to perceive what he can. Eighteen. Eighteen. 
Oh, I forgot dice. I keep Quick. packing dice. Yeah, away. throw some over your shoulder for good luck. Go out the window. Okay. As you look out, you see as the thunder crackles psh, with this huge explosion, you see something flying in the air. How far away would you say and how fast? Quite a ways and not that fast. Roll a knowledge nature check. Two. <laughs> Those are some weird ass birds. Weird ass night birds. Now, was it, were the They're... wings flapping or was it gliding? Well, you just saw like a flash of it as the lightning struck. So you just kind of saw like the silhouette. You didn't really see the movement. So the general shape you couldn't identify just because you got a two. So the DC was a five. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Mm. Beyond that, nothing else eventful on your watch. I, I poke panic on his. I boop. I boop panic snoot. Boop. Ah! Oh my God. Oh. Morning. Uh, it's your yeah. turn. By the way, I saw like a bird or something. It was far away, like a quick flash. So it could be either ominous, or I need more sleep. Probably the that. <laughs> Like, Borky just lay down beside him and fell asleep in, in panic's bed. Great. <laughs> I guess I'll find out what that was about. Where's Euphoria mm -hmm. in all this? She's sleeping. Okay. She's been pretty, like, tired. Alright. Panic. Roll a perception check. Oh boy, here I go. It's off 20 again. Mm. Okay, you also see these these figures in the far, far distance. Uh, roll a knowledge nature. Uh-oh. That's not looking good. You need to Seven? beat a five, so you're good. Uh, okay. They're bats. Giant bats. Oh. Uh, this doesn't look like home, does it? I don't I don't recognize any like am I in Tricadia? You don't know. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> As you sit and listen to the rain, you hear a little voice. Home, harboring, habitat, healthy, dawn, <sighs> drive, distill, divine. Oh, wait, I thought... Oh, you're still here. Are you in my head forever now? Hello, oh. harboring the head passenger. Take that as a yes. Um, cool. Uh... Do I... Be, be, okay, so, so you... You know where we are. There's always a pause whenever they talk, mostly because I have to write what they say. Also, latency. <laughs> <laughs> I need to. Uh, I need to make this a bullshit. IQ. Let's let's refresh Discord. We clearly need to do it again. <laughs> now we know how the fucking writers for uh, Zero in Borderlands felt. Oh God. I know your answer, but how do I make it a haiku? <laughs> There's actually. How do I throw a swear in it as well? There's actually one time he breaks his format. Uh, it responds, unknown, unsure, unaware, unafraid. Hmm. You don't know where we are, but I don't think it's dangerous. Okay. I gotcha. Well, I'm just gonna eye those bats. They, they don't look weird, do they? They just look like normal bats. Look, bats. It's really hard to see them in like this situation because you're not really seeing them moving. You're just seeing like the silhouette of them, but you can tell by the leathery wings that they are bats. Okay. Beyond that, your watch ends without anything else. And by the end of it, you notice that the bats have probably gone to hide as the sunlight begins to rise. Hmm. All right. Well, I will go rake up Greckles then. Yeah. 
Yeah, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, it's so wet. Ugh. You're dry. It's very dry in the amphitheater. Okay. Your watch. Got it, boss. How's your mom, by the way? She's still sleeping, but, um, I, I, I think after what she's been through, I, I didn't want to wake her up to try and take a watch. No, 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 that's, that's fine and fair. Anything I should be aware of? Um, saw some bats. Don't really know if that's okay. native to... Okay. Like, I guess bats are native to wherever we are, so... That's good. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> that's the, the, a little bit of an insight. <laughs> All things considered, I'm doing... 11. He's, he's not trying to hide anything. He's, okay, okay. He's doing better than he has been for a long time. You get That's to fair. Go. Yeah. All right, well, get some sleep. Also, what's Borky <laughs> doing in your bed? What's up with that? Oh, oh we have beds? Well, your, no. <laughs> your, your role? I don't know. God, what are we sleeping in? On like basically stone. Oh, stone. God, the oh no, one of my back hurts so much. Yeah, yeah. I think. Uh, getting a massage would be nice. But... Yeah, we need to pack All some right. bed rolls next time. Uh, we really do. Okay, good. Yeah, Have a good man. watch, Greco. Right. Uh, Monty, can I do my watch from stealth? Sure, absolutely. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I will say for this, so your perception will have disadvantage. Uh, well, never mind. Then I'll I'll go ahead and. Okay. Just there's no real, like it's very like heavy foliage here. So if you were to hide, like you're gonna be blocking every viewpoint from every direction. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Perception. Then. Whereas the stone of the amphitheater has blocked. Most. <laughs> oh my god! That's a one and a two. A seven. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the only thing you notice is that the rain. Oh, that's nice. Eventually pickles out. Uh, very soon? Yes? The sun begins to creep over the horizon. Ooh. I'll do my morning prayer then. Alright. God, is it nice to see the sun! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Or in blessings, blessings. All right, Just is, mm -hmm. you do your prayer. The rest of you guys begin to rouse from your sleep. No, I want, I want, I want to keep sleeping for another two hours. No, wake up, sleepyheads. No. Rain stopped at least. No, I'm not. All right, even... well, I'll pass. We'll wake up. Need... Considering that we're fucking very low on rations, I assume, and we haven't eaten anything proper, I'm gonna go hunting. Alright. Hey, you want some help with that, or you good alone? Do as you will. I don't mind the company. Yes. Alright, I'll go with you. Okay. Quick, task, let's go, no, let's go, let's go, no, let's go, let's wait. go. Wait, wait, wait. And just... Borky, wait, I clap my hand over his mouth. Class, we're ah. in an amphitheater. <laughs> oh, right. Also, I cover, I, I, I cover my own ears. Do I still have tinnitus? No, you guys are feeling better now. Oh, good. Oh, okay. Good. You watch as uh, euphoria begins to rouse as well. She kind of gets up and looks around. Where are, where are we? Um, I don't know. Uh, oh, Mima, did you? He's away. Oh, she just like, like, like lies flat on her back on in the amphitheater. Thank the gods. He didn't seem happy. He never is. It's not who he used to be. Did he used to be? No, he used to be a celestial. A 
name is long forgotten to time now. Long forgotten to us as well. <laughs> she kind of gets up and sits up. I'll help her up. I'm not that old yet. Of... She slacks your hand away. I'm not that old yet. <laughs> I'm just trying to help. We're in some sort of empathy of the Livros. Something. I point to the statue. Your little friend helped us. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Here's, uh... Here's they're <laughs> taking a ride in my soul now. She kind of narrows her eyes at that, like, sternly. You're okay with this? Yeah. I think I am. They were keeping that place alive for longer than it could have been. I wonder why. Perhaps you're right. About your theory that he dies. You cut, the you, you cut out there. What did you say? Oh, perhaps, perhaps you're right that if he dies, it's spread. Maybe that's why. Maybe they just like music. Either way, I'm thankful. Do you hear a voice in your head panic? Camaraderie, destruction, relate, delay. Hmm. Perhaps they experienced something like this before. We need to get back to civilization. She kind of steps up and walks down the steps of the amphitheater. That would be nice, but... Uh... Task and Greckles are out hunting right now. Yes, food first would be good. Right. Task, Greckles, you guys are out in the woods. Uh, I would like to give Task uh, assistance for survival if I can do such a thing. Absolutely. So, Task, right. you can use a survival with advantage. Hell yeah. Thank you for that. Well, I got 25. <laughs> scary, That's the one scary. on the other side. Yeah. Uh, this is a very plentiful forest. Um, you find a lot of berries that you can eat, and you know with that survival check that you can't eat them. You find wild mushrooms in abundance. Um, various, like, wild apple trees as well. Um, you guys collect kind of in a cloth a bunch of things enough easily for three rations alone of just that. In terms of hunting, uh, you kind of walk up and you see a what looks to be some sort of wild hog. Very small, like some sort of small wild hog. Uh, currently grazing. Uh, it's kind of like almost an adult, not a baby, but almost an adult. Uh, go ahead and roll the hit. Cool. Uh, do you want me to hit first to get sneak attack and you get Colossus Slayer? Because he did the because he did the survival check. He has. Ah, okay. Okay. It was a good idea though. Eight piercing. Let's see if that's enough. I think it will be, but I'm just gonna double check. All while doing this task to Mad Mickelson, fucking like smiling as he's shooting like from the Death Stranding trailer. It survives and takes off. Uh, uh, I have a second shot, don't I? Yeah, you can use your second shot. Is it? Is it bolts? You just take and aim the shot again. Sixteen. I'll hit. Damage. With Colossus Slayer. Yeah, dead. It's dead. You hit it once in the side and it takes off galloping and then you shoot it again in the head and it <laughs> rears out like rings out in the forest as it slumps and troops over itself and is dead. It's about the size of, um, oh god, like the size of a shoebox, basically. But it's meat, and it's pretty good. Hey, this is enough to get us all something to eat. That's fair enough. All right, you guys right. bring that back, and you guys set it up over a spit over a fire, and start rotating it around. You also throw those fruits... Well, you eat the fruits the way they are, but you put the, the mushrooms on a stick and you, you smoke those. Hell yeah. Sautéed oh, mushrooms. If yeah. only had a pan, we could have one heck of a breakfast. Sautéed mushrooms, bacon. Oh, I can't wait to get back to Alavast. Speaking of civilization, Tass turns looks for you. What's your next move now that all this is over? <sighs> I think 
I would like to have a word with Panic's father. You know where he is, then. Uh, Assuming he well, has not left. He, uh, I think he did leave, actually. Uh, but I know where he is. Good. He is in Eastern Tricadia now, I believe, making uh, armor for the uh, for the clergy, right? Good. Yeah. Okay. Good. Euphoria just kind of bitterly bites off a piece of meat from the ribs. I have words. And she, like, chews while scowling towards the ground in a very mom-esque way. I... I <laughs> for the first time, Panic is worried about his father in a long time. <laughs> I'd hate to leave you like this, but it seems you have your own duties, and I don't think I want your mother getting in the way of those things. Well, but currently we now actually have set up a... Uh... There's a transport that takes from Alabast to Tricadia, so it's not like it's very hard to come back this way. Oh, could you put them away for me to utilize this? I don't see why not. Yeah, I mean, like, it's not like you gotta know a friend and you can just buy a ticket. I mean, <laughs> well, actually. If this is teleportation, then. It, out of context, if this is teleportation, that shit costs money, mm. unless someone's paying yeah. for it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, 50 gold. Yeah, Although... but in Alabast, it's 500 gold. Although, if you get to Alvas, you might want to wear either a turtleneck or a scarf. God, if it's that much, I wonder how much this is going to cost. Holds up, Task holds up the scroll to the Underdark. Hard to say. What is that? I... Oh, uh, some of the folks outside of uh, that little death pit before we entered into the realm of Discord, uh, there's a whole civilization that's run by a very friendly beholder, if I oh, believe that's right. Oh, that's right. You met Bob. Didn't oh, you? Bob. I did meet Bob. Yes, he arrested me. Um, what? So, was, yeah. So you know. Yeah, no, no, this, the, this the is the holy thing. object. Borky points at Tubbs. As Borky's slowly sliding more more food into yeah, his mouth. Yeah, something thrown at me, and so I was pardoned for my crimes. Mm. The very least I explained mm. myself, and he seems quite understanding. Well, he is a fa he is a fair fat. Borky rubs him. There was also this. Thing that followed me early on when I descended into the Underdark. It was like a the big. Blunt? No, it was like a big gray dog thing. Oh, oh. oh a gray render? Oh, okay, for the big gray yes, render. Yes, points out. I lost it midway. I don't know how we got split up, but it was helpful. Oh, that's why it liked panic, I think. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. We met, oh, him. met him. Yeah. You called him Clifford, I called him Grayson. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's his last name? Used by that. Fine. Grayson. Okay. Grayson sounds like the third name. I hope they have better find. Well, if they found their way back towards where Bob is, we might actually be able to see them again. I'm sure Alabast will pay top dollar, or at least a little bit of a fair coin, to at least get some kind of teleportation to the Underdark for allies. I do not believe it has been discovered quite yet. I kept it quite secret for my own means. Do you believe it needs to remain secret now that uh, this whole situation has been put to rest? With Bob in charge, no. I mean, he's an idiot, but he seems to be a at least moderately nice idiot. Eh. Alabaster is the only allies it could get. That Neophilid, if you saw that thing, the Great Consumer is what they called it. Oh, yes. Oh, we never learned its name, but we saw it. Yes, I learned from the Mind Flayer there that the Great Consumer consumed everything, and there are no more Mind Flayers, so we should be safe that way. It oh, is Mind Flayers are something to worry about? Tass doesn't know any of that! Eh, yes, but don't concern yourself with that. The one concern I have is the Drow. Oh yeah, the Citadel. But, she yeah. kind of smiles. I did take something a bit precious from them. What was that? <laughs> Couple of their commander's voices. Tass like snaps his fingers. Smiles and bites her lip a little bit, like eh, 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 eh. Tass snaps his fingers, like oh fuck, we forgot something. Setting a bad example. That gnome, the the gnome leader, we never got his wife's voice back. Ah, eh, beads. beads. Unfortunately, You're... Omnima has eaten that voice, so they're never going to get it back. You remember the. They were going to kill us at first, right? I had to I had to lie our way out of that. Tasha shrugs. Eh, as long as we don't go back. 
I mean, when's the next time we're going to be the underdog? Hopefully De never. Ah, De <laughs> Depends on how close our alliance with Bob and the rest are. But we'll be further away from gnomes in any aspect. Just then, 50 gnomes jump out of the woods, brandishing knives, and just... <laughs> I see. <laughs> uh, Bor Borky just go, takes off. I heard you were talking shit! Borky just strips himself naked, puts both blades. It has become the vision I've had since a child. Leave now, for what you shall witness shall be truly horrifying. There are no gnomes, but there is a delicious breakfast, which you all consume. Of you gnomes. Guys house the fire. No meat. And Yummy. What do you guys want to do? You're in the middle of the woods. You have no idea where the fuck you are. I'm gonna roll survival. Turn up your volume. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Uh... I'm gonna roll survival to see if there's like any tracks that lead elsewhere. Okay. Twenty-five. 25. Unfortunately, where you are right now, you don't see any tracks but yours. So there's no tracks, no road, especially. No, there's absolutely no road. It is hey. the woods. Where does the amphitheater feet? Where does the amphitheater face? Uh, it is, because you know directions as a ranger, I believe, at this level. Um, currently speaking, the amphitheater is facing north, so like the back end of it. The audience will be looking towards the north side. South is behind you. Then I say we head north, then. I was about to say, Tass, do you want to get in the trees with me and see if we can find some kind of landmark? Follow where the amphitheater is. Let's try it. I have the spyglass as well. That's right, I gave it to you. Do you guys want to try and scout out with that? Yes. Okay. I'll say Greckles roll another acrobatics, and then you can use a perception with advantage. <laughs> uh, that's a 20. 25. Advantage. Oh, 25. Excuse me. No, no, that's acrobatics check. Yeah. Oh, yeah, easily up the tree. Sorry, my bad. Okay, and then perception? <laughs> so no. easy. It's so thick and untamed that it's just like, you just walk up the side. It's like, with stairs. <laughs> Sorry, did you say perception? Perception, with advantage, because you have the spyglass from Borky. Okay. Which is not a Thank magical. God, 19. Mm. To the south, you see smoke. Very briefly over the horizon. Ooh. And nothing else anywhere else? No, everything else is just trees. Gotcha. I'll scamper back down then, past the uh, spyglass, but it's back to task. Actually, to the south, I saw smoke. Not very much, but there is some. Well, that's the best clue we have so far, so let's head that way. Where there's smoke? Right. There's... wait. No, I'll get it. Continue Task on. I'm gonna walk. get it. I'm gonna get it. Let's go. Task with his walks. Let him climb the mountain again. <laughs> All right, you guys, start heading south. Uh, what? I actually wanted to do something before we left. For sure. I, I wanted to play... Uh, a, a little bit like the first, like the first verse of a song in the amphitheater. Okay. Uh, do a performance check. Yeah, performance. Thirty. 30. Jesus. <laughs> wow. It's a very nice performance. The amphitheater is definitely not the way it used to be. It does carry some of the sound, but a lot of the foliage that's kind of consumed it absorbs a lot of it. Uh, I'll just nod. Say, hopefully that wasn't the last performance we held at this. Keep it in mind, and I'll uh, hop off and I'll join my comrades. Okay. Oh my God, the lowest you can roll is fifteen. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to level nine. Ooh. All right, marching order. Who's in the front? I'll go. Task in the front. Borky okay. in the, Borky in the back. Borky in the back. Uh, is there enough foliage that I could sneak around but stay Abs within five feet? fucking there. I'm, I'm just Whoa. imagining Greckles going up to the end of a branch just and doing that boing boing like an actual oh, diving board. Yes. I just realized then would have been the perfect time to reveal it. Yes. Meanwhile, a minute ago, we have for you guys. Panic's brand new guitar. Ooh. Oh. Hey. Courtesy of that art jack. Wow, that's boss. Ah. That's like fucking guitar, man. Damn. I. It's hard to describe. For those of you, but I'll let you describe it, Connor, because you're probably gonna do a better job at this. For those of you in the podcast that can't see this, uh, the guitar starts in the shape of 
its heart, where all the strings meet and where the tuning is done. It goes down. The neck and the head are completely made of porcelain. And they go down. The neck is very thick. Going down the inside of the neck are runes in Infernal that spell out the word catharsis. At the base in the body are one long golden spike and one long black iron spike on the other side that looks like horns. A pattern reminiscent of the shape of the Discord Devil's flesh in solid gold is overlapping the base body made entirely of obsidian. And this was made by that art jack. Great job. Damn. Awesome. Borky, Borky made one great. comment when you whipped it up, by the way. My god. Someone's totally gonna steal that from you. Uh, no. No, no, Paddy, you gotta know. I mean, this, this, this looks really kick-ass. But look at the gold. That is what the thief is gonna think. Look at the well, gold. They're going to have to get. The, the thing is, they're going to have to get through me first. I know. Um, well, okay. I've killed things. That's true. <laughs> it's true. I've killed before. <laughs> <laughs> you you hear that little voice in your head, panic. Reach. Removed. Remedy. Return. What does that mean? <laughs> Man, I really... <laughs> I know you probably can't help this, but... <laughs> Reach. Remove. Remedy. Return. What are you saying? Reach. Like... Removed. Remedy. Return. It sound, it oh, so, boy. It sounds like you're saying... <laughs> what, you, what are you talking about, Patty? It sounds like you're saying random words. See, Borky, that's um, how you sound to us. Let me, that true let me, uh, let me try something real quick. Uh, I'm going to leave the guitar on the on the stage of the amphitheater. Okay. And then I'm going to walk a, a distance away. Okay, you just start running in and... a direction. <laughs> no, I'll walk. I see why walk. <laughs> uh, I will try to will my guitar into my hand. You feel a weight in your hand. Oh, holy shit. Well, I mean, oh, that answers that. That's awesome. What just happened? I'm sorry, I blinked. I can, I can, it's attached to me. Reach, remove, I can summon. Remedy, return. I'm being pulled, okay, and get the information. I can summon my guitar to my hand now. You awesome! Know. That's, That's not. This That's... is so cool. Okay, I'm wait, over. Thank wait you. a minute. What? There's no. There's no. There's no places for a scrap to get it attached to it. Can I try to will it out of existence? Doesn't work. Ah, I need to find a way to strap this to my back then. Do you, do they you think always, it might just stick to your They always have to exist on the material plane. Ah. Soka. <laughs> God damn it. Naruho, though. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and start walking. I'm gonna roll right. my stealth all, check. I think all of us need to say Ara Ara out of sequence with each other. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. All I'm right. gonna say Panic, and then uh, Euphoria is gonna go in front of Borky. Hmm. Alrighty. You guys set off into the woods. I got you are, it. you know that that Homer Simpson just slowly backing into the foliage. Jesus, That's you. Yes. Yeah. It's always been Gretels. <laughs> it's been him since episode one. All right, you guys walk for five hours. <laughs> oh. At this point, it's like one or two in the afternoon, and that smoke you're, you're able to see it. Task clearly from where you are. You don't have to roll any sort of roll. Uh, you were approaching it maybe about, say, maybe like 500 feet away. Well, we're nearby. All right. So we don't know where we is. And sometimes people we meet, they're kind of mean. So I think task. Oh, he's gone. I'm right here. Ah, down there you are. I miss Scarbles. Please go down and check it out. You got the best eyes. Task will go forward. What do I see? 
roll a stealth check if you want to go stealthy. If not, then... Sure. I'd like to back him up if I can. All right, Grickles, you follow along. You guys mm. both stealth, and as you guys kind of creep over some shrubs, both of you roll perception checks. Always use the buddy system, kids. Mm -hmm. uh, 20. Nice. Easy enough. Uh, it is a village of sorts. Uh, you see wood thatched homes. Um, you see that there's like a smoldering, what looks like, like a campfire pit in the middle. Um, you see various different, like, kind of quasi tower like structures strapped with like leather, stretched, uh, like, leather, like, umbrella type, like, roofs on top. Um, but you don't see anybody there. Not a soul. Not a soul. Where's the smoke coming from? Uh, it's coming from like a like a small campfire in the center. Huh. Okay, I'm not gonna walk towards the campfire. I I looked at Greckles to tell him to get everyone else, tell them that civilization's nearby. I'm going to the nearest house and knocking on the door. Okay. You go there's no door, it's like kind of like a like a strip of what looks like some sort of deer hide. Um there's also a smell to this place. As you throw it open, you see inside, almost like an orange that's had all the liquid sucked out of it, a pig, similar to the one that you killed, just kind of curled up mummified in the corner of this of this room. With no one else inside. Uh, at this point, Greckles didn't leave to get everyone. He just wanted to, to make sure Tasker was okay. Tasker, are you okay? What the hell? You didn't come get us? You didn't No, because I want to make... I want to make... If... I, buddy system if i've learned anything it's buddy system right uh, now i will i will call out i'll just say excuse me the pig is dead and also no. can't talk oh. so oh, i wasn't i wasn't talking to the pig i was calling out inside the house no reply Tesk, let's make sure we got everyone here before we start making moves very well all right now i'll go get everyone okay you go grab everybody the rest of you guys you walk into this village um, same scene, you see, like, kind of a smoldering fire pit in the middle. You see various different, like, crude houses. They're very small as well, notably. Uh, Task, it's fine for you, but Borky, they're definitely, they would not, you could not fit in these. Oh, my God. Can Borky see the pig? Uh, inside of the helm, if you want to, yeah. That is one dry piggy. Uh, can I do an investigation check to see well, if I can find more it, mummified things? Was this, Absolutely. Jer was this yeah. jerky gone crazy, or what happened? Ugh, 13. 13, okay. Uh, with that 13, I'd like you to roll a medicine check real fast. Okay, not great at that. Uh, that's a 14. Ooh. Perfect. Uh, you know how, like, jerks have, like, serrated teeth? Yeah. So imagine that, but like like one eighth of the size. You see a large bite mark on the side of this pig, mm -hmm. and that appears to be the only like visible wound. And it looks like the blood has been drained from it. Oh, good. Uh, I'll gather everyone around. <laughs> this is Wait one a minute. Just, pig. Uh, hey, hold it on. was just one. It was just one puncture, or like a actual like full mouth bite. It's like a full mouth bite. Yeah. With, with oh. all the serration, it's the only wound on the animal, and it's been sucked dry. I think what you're saying is some kind of pig that's got feral in its own kind and just loves the sweet, delicious taste of pig blood. Slowly uh, turning to panic or vampire. Oh, no. Yeah. No. Oh, no, don't tell me we're in Tracadia. We might be in Tracadia. I better not be. There's sun in the sky. Panic. <laughs> is there sun in the sky? Yeah, there is. It's beaming down. Look! Look at all this light and sun and happiness. We cannot be that. I am... No. Wait, 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 wait. Panic, you said you saw bats last night? Yeah. Was that what it was? I, I yeah, guess... Yeah, there were bats. Oh, Did God! You... Oh, it's not another red flag. Wait, wait, wait. Tess, uh, do you think you could identify the bite marks of what kind of creature this was? Tess stares off in the distance. Has an imaginary cigar. <sighs> <laughs> I'm just imagining. Wait, hold on. Here it is. It was done by a vampire, written in pen, right below it. Oh shit. Uh, I'd say you can roll a medicine check as well, Task, if you want to. Sure. Nothing doing a five. It's something with teeth. Hmm. It's really hard to tell because the body's so shriveled as well. 
This isn't the only building in this place, so. Borky, I was gonna say, Borky wants Can to check I out. Try it? Borky wants to check out some of the buildings. Okay. Uh, Borky, roll an investigation check. Oh, oh excellent. My negative I one stat. I love it. I do not want to stay here any longer than we need to. Seventeen. Seventeen. Mm. You find a cache of weapons in one of the one of the buildings. Oh. They're goblin make, and um. Panic, roll a medicine check as well. Okay. So, Borky, you determined that this is a goblin village. Oh. Medicine 22. That bite is a goblin's bite. Oh. Uh, hey, guys. You got, we, Borky may, just, Borky. we may have a... Uh... Oh, you got first, Panic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, we came out, uh, out of the building at the wrong right time. Yeah. We may have been a bit hasty in our uh, assumption. This, Why, uh... Man. Is not the vampire bite. That is a goblin. What? Goblins? I love those things. That explains all this goblin weaponry. Borky just dumps it all on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of spears and like shitty daggers made with stone. You like, just oh. took it all. I just want to like, ta task, task. Do not forget, you were the guy who said you wanted to steal something for the police that one time. All right, all right, all right. Let's just back up a second. We don't... Nothing is here. Last I checked, goblins don't naturally drink blood. Are we dealing with vampiric goblins? Christ, I hope not! Oh, my. Uh, they're gonna look at Task and think he's just full of blood. Sorry, I Task. Ten, I only have five silver arrows left. This is not good. Uh, let's get... Let's... <laughs> hmm. Do we what does Euphoria think? Is there any goblins? Euphoria's, goblin? like, poking around at the fire, and she's like, this has been out for a while. So that means that, I mean, that shows, I mean, I, I'm kind of a dumb guy, but there's no goblin villages around. I'll have asked, except for that, that, uh, that phantom limb stove on. Boys? Yes? Watch, uh, Euphoria's pulling back a curtain. You may want to come see this. Can we come see this? Walk over. Right, let's go we see it. Here we go. All of our heads enter frame at the same time. All right, you see a pile of husks. Uh, what? boar, deer, foxes, one squirrel, um, there's even, like, a bear that's completely shriveled up, the hair has been removed, and the skin is all tight like a raisin, it's like limbs are all curled inwards, uh, and it's just covered oh. in bites. Oh my god, they all look like- There's no, oh there's no real smell, I mean, there's a slight odor to it, but it's not, like, rotting, it's just, like, really dry, like- Flesh scent. This is... We're leaving. Yeah, we should ah, be. There. Mm. I, I mean, there's a bear in there. That's not good. I mean, all those things, they all look like mummy grapes. Fucking leave. Okay. You guys, close the curtains. Yeah, but where'd we leave to? I don't, don't have any other leads. Is there any paths out of town? There is a path. There's another path that kind of leads, like, southeast a bit. Take it. Fuck it. Yeah, this is the only thing I can think of. We just take take the road and see where it goes. I All mean, right, but let's be careful. We don't know what's out if, here. If anyone comes back, we should leave a message where we're going. Apparently, vampire goblins is what's been out here. What the hell? The only okay. thing I can think of. Fuck out of here. So reset, march. Yep. Okay. Re re stealthing. We we gotta do we gotta do the we gotta go for we gotta go for the sweet dragon class. God damn it! <laughs> You're. That's honestly even a natural one. It's there's so much fucking foliage. You're still there. <laughs> That's a like, ten. You trip, honestly like you, trip you don't into really the need to fucking roll except for just okay. for reference point for me. But it's like yeah. You you belly flop accidentally into the bushes this time. I was time. about to say I could just take advantage on it. I'm gonna say as you guys are leaving, um, I'm gonna say panic. Do one more investigation check for me as you guys are leaving. Okay. Investigation is nine. That's it. That's all you get. All right. Party. You guys proceed forward through the woods. There's kind of like a path carved a little bit, but it kind of tapers off into just like a dirt path. Um, notably, there are like like spikes, like like not like traps or anything, but there's like spears in the ground with like mummified animal heads on them um, of varying different degrees. 
Uh, some are just full-on skulls, while other of them still have flesh. There's one that's a wolf, and it's still got, like, the fur, but the eyes are all sunken in. Um, oh, we're in the fucking forest game. You guys move forward, and eventually you realize where this path leads you. It leads you to a river. You hear the flowing water. You see fish jumping in the water. Oh my god. Um, Porky just shoves his face in the water. All right. Oh, oh. Porky's getting some I was water. Gonna I was going to suggest we check to make sure the water's potable. Porky but... puts his thumbs up while his face is in the water. Roll a constitution saving throw for me. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, it's a check, Porky. 12. <sighs> Oof. It's fun, I get to crack this open. <laughs> no, what have I done? You, you have drank like seven diseases, I bet. <laughs> oh no, I have lupus. You gotta boil the water, Porky. Porky gets typhoid. If you, if you boil the water, it becomes steam, and I can't drink that. No, you don't boil it till it's all steam. You boil it so... Wait, we wouldn't know that. We were, we're not that far enough in science. <laughs> we're not? I don't know. Are we smart? Are we, do we have enough science knowledge in this day and age to, to understand we, diseases we, and boiling you, it? You, you know we have enough science to make amphitheaters. You know not to just straight up drink, like, Creek River water. <laughs> not Porky, apparently. Uh, What did you get? You got a 12, you said? 12 a lot. Yeah, you're fine. Yay! It's got a weird taste to it. <laughs> it does taste like Blah. urine. -y. Blah. Blah. All right, all right, all right. Let's just let's just fill up our water skins. Let's get it sterile, and then we'll be fine. Well, how do we do that? I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna look upstream with my periscope or the right. spyglass. Okay. Uh. It wasn't rolling. That one. Never mind. <laughs> No, it's with advantage. Play. Yeah, it's with advantage, so it's an eight. Um, where you guys are, because the river is kind of recessed into the earth, you don't really have a very good vantage point from where you are. And as you look down both ends of the river, you don't see anything besides, like, where you're at, which has kind of got, like, a little bit of, like, a kind of a dock, but more just a bunch of rocks stacked up so you can go to and from the water oh, with Christ. relative ease. So either we go up the river because that leads to like a mountain, or we go down a river, which leads to the ocean. Or, uh, Tess, can I grab that spyglass and have a look from the trees? We've only been traveling for a couple of hours, we probably won't that much. I don't know, if we see more smoke, it would at least tell us where possibly not to go. I say we go to higher ground, but here, take a look for yourself. I give him the fly glass. Okay. Right. You're gonna stay on the ground? No, I was gonna get up a, I was gonna skedaddle up a tree again. Okay. So acrobatics, that is 12. They're not as big trees here, but you climb up to like, kind of like a little, little adolescent tree. Kind of sways back and forth as you're hanging on and looking. Uh, roll a okay. perception check. Okay, here we go. Uh, it's a nat natural 20. Natural 20. Ah. Mm. Nice. One sec, I just gotta keep these holes. I wanna pet the bird now. Good bird. Good bird. <laughs> Got fruit for your however those... Probably hiss. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, crows look like... <laughs> like that really guttural, like... I thought I, I, I was, but I thought you were a grackle, so that means that you make pew pew laser. Oh, that's now. right, that's right. I can't even replicate. You can't even replicate. My God, it's your family. It's like a. It's like a... Okay, you sorry. see a meadow, oh. in the distance to the boat, basically directly south of where you are, mm -hmm. and you see these moderately sized like creatures. You can't really tell because it's really, really far away. Mm -hmm. um, but you see like, these little kind of black specks in this large meadow to the south of you. Beyond that, you just see woods. There's nothing down the river or up the river from where you are. Okay. Say anything, Grackles! Yeah, give me a... Uh, oh, God, it's a tree. Hang on a second. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, Task, here's a spyglass back. To the direct south of us, there's an open meadow with couple of creatures, some specks. One of them looked kind of large. Something like that. So we shouldn't it, go that way? Is that what you said? It's the, it's the only thing that there is. Everything else surrounding us is woods, and I would rather be in an open meadow where you can see 
than dense woods where we can't. Okay, but if we approach that place, I would point out we should probably be pretty stealthy. So no belly no flops. No doubts there. No belly flops this time. All right, all right. Moving from biome to biome is not going to get us closer to civilization, but I guess it's better than nothing. Uh, we could at least possibly find someone to get directions. Which way is the river going? Uh, it's going east and west. East and west. Okay, the water's flowing which direction? Uh, it's flowing to the east. Flowing to the east. Okay. It's uh, like it's not like a river. It's like like a creek meets a river. It's kind of like a pretty like wide bank. It's also not that deep. Uh, at most, Borky, it might come up to like your pecs. Mm. Task, you're you're gonna want to hold on to something. Right. It's Borky's pecs. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's let's at least get uh, let's get our water skins filled up so we can boil it out later. We don't know when we're going to find another source of water. As you look over, you see Euphoria just quietly, like, filling a canteen. She's very quiet when you travel. She doesn't talk a lot, notably. She's got that second mouth of mm. smoking a cigar right now. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> what if... <Hey. laughs> you kids. Yeah. So, are we in agreement? <laughs> Moving south? Sure. Oh, for lack of Sounds a better, good to me. Oh, so for lack of a better direction, let's go the bird way. All right. You I guys guess. begin to go through the river. I need everybody who wants to. What's your strategy to cross this river? It's not super deep, but there still is a current. How how wide is it? Uh, I'd say it's about thirty feet wide. Oh well, here. Well, this is okay. I got an idea, guys. Uh, I got my grappling hook. I can mage hand it over, grapple onto something. And then we could just kind of pull ourselves across and hopefully we don't lose our grip. Unless anyone else has any ideas. Morty. Yeah, you gotta just carry you guys all across, really. I mean, just, sounds like a lot of fun there, Greco, so I could just do this. Borky just grabs Task. Daintily, though. With like, Borky just puts up both his hands. Come, Task. I mean, I don't know if he can carry all three of us. One after another, Borky starts stepping into the water with Task filled up. <laughs> All right. Above his head. Roll, roll a constitution check. Check con check. Okay. Just a straight con check. Eighteen. She's a little bit cold, but you're okay. Ah. It's a bit brisk. Uh, you begin to forward over with Task. Task, are you going with them? Sure. <laughs> All right. You're kind of like sitting on his head, cross-legged, like his head is a stool. Hmm. Uh, Borke, I need to make an athletics check as you reach the center of this river, which is only maybe about 10 feet across in terms of, like, the deepest most point. 13. 13. All right. You trip on a smooth rock, but you manage to re-steady yourself. <laughs> Task, you get a bit wet, unfortunately. <laughs> but you manage to board over the river, and you drop Task off on the other side. All right. Task just walks off like Yizma. All right. Real. Yeah. <laughs> all right. It's all coming together. <laughs> all right. Um, uh Forky just turns to Greckles. Maybe you were right. The water's like really cold. So how about you set that rat clean corp over my way and I just pull it tight? Eh? Well, find something to clamp it onto and then act as an anchor. We don't want to screw this up. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Porky. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Mage hand the, the hook part of the grappling hook over to him. All right. Easy enough. You do so. All right. Tie it off on something. Uh, is there any? Is like a tree? Where is tree? There is like a big log on the other side of the river that's like probably really, really heavy, like heavier than you, like a probably like two or three tons. Whoa! It's a big ass tree, and it's like Jeez. half resting in the water. Bar it's like probably like a thirty, like nah, probably like a twenty foot or ten foot circumference or so. Dice. It's a big tree. Dice right here. All right, but. All right, Cranston, it's right here, Crackles. All right, just hang on to it once you've got it bolted in. All right, all right, what are you tying it to? I guess ourselves. Looks over to Panic and, and uh, Euphoria. Euphoria just steps through and goes, I don't want to get wet and cast Polymorph on herself. Oh, God. <laughs> well, that's she no fair. She turns into a little bird. She flies over to the other side and then dismisses it. She turns into an un unentitled goose person. <laughs> well, that's that's fair enough. Wouldn't it have been easier to just swing across a, a tree branch or something is with there, the grappling hook? Is there is a there's is no there a tree? tree to do that? There's yeah. absolutely no like the, once you reach the bank of this creek and river, well, there are no trees uh, that are like Lonnie. banking over it. Mine. Mm -hmm. 
is there something on their side that I can hit with an arrow and it gets stuck to? Rock, if you hit hard enough. Uh, well, I have Ensnaring Strike. I'd say if you roll above an 18 with an attack roll, it'll go through the rock and be stuck Fuck on it, the I'll give it a try. I have, like, 60 of these fucking arrows. All right. Tie up the other end of it onto a onto an arrow and take a shot. Okay. 28. Yeah. It lands, and it's very tight and taut. There. Problem solved. There we go. Tie it to that. And then I'll tie it to this. Okay. There we go. Stare it off. And the Borky ties it up. All right. So now you got a tong tong, a really tight rope that goes across either side. Cool. So I guess we'll start making our way then carefully. All right. Both of you guys can roll athletics with advantage. Good, because I'm oh terrible boy. at that. Ooh, 15. Good. That's acrobatics. Uh, you need to use athletics. Ah, uh, beans. You are not uh, being graceful here. You are you are trying to resist the flow of water. In that case. Uh, eight. <laughs> <laughs> you were like holding on and as Greckles like leaps onto the other side, the the the, the rope gets kind of loose on the other side. You guys kind of hear as the grappling hook kind of loosens a bit on his thing and t uh, panic as you're going over, the, r the rope kind of becomes slack and immediately you just get a mouthful of water and you're just like, blah, 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 like your head gets dunked underneath and you are soaking wet and freezing at the oh. moment. Uh, you take Fuck. no damage, but it is not a good look for you. <laughs> just drag him, just pull him back in. <laughs> All right, everybody else on the show will uh. a strength check to, to, to pull him back in. Can we just give Borky assist? Please give me assist. Seven. It doesn't matter. You got a seven. Everybody else drink there? Good save. Well, that's a three. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. You guys grab God. the rope and pull, but Task's arrow is so deep into that stone, you can't seem to pull it free from the other side. Uh oh Panic. Did you roll another athletics check for me? Oh, no. One of us is going to die. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You need a 11. 10 to pass. No. You, you gather yourself up on the rope and you just drag yourself oh, at a certain point. It gets... What the fuck? Sorry, I was trying to <laughs> click on something else. <laughs> Hi, oh, you're right. I wouldn't expect this oh, sneak boy. attack, Freckles. <laughs> Marky <laughs> gets Sorry. onto his knees and shakes Panic. Panic! Didn't you have Dimension Door? <laughs> yeah, but why would I waste a spell? Why would they waste a spell on a stupid river? I don't know. Press the digitation <laughs> dry. <laughs> Euphoria is just kind of laughing under her breath, like... <laughs> and just I'll, turning around towards the path ahead. I'll gather up my grappling hook, thank you very much. Alright, easy. Well, another strength check. It's fucking stuck in that stone on the other side. Borky, can you help me out with this? What? What, what? I, I need to get my grappling hook back, that's kind of the point. Okay, fine. Borky grabs it with one and just pulls... Advantage, because you're getting help. Yeah, yep. Strength check? Yeah. Yep. Fine, I'll grab it for you, goodness gracious. 17. Thank you, Borky. Yeah, you, you pull. You get the rock at first, and it kind of clashes onto, like, craters onto the ground. And a bunch of other rocks just falls over into the water. But then you just kind of, like, yank it again, and it pops out, and you just drag it back through the water. Yay. And you get your arrow back, Task. Hell yeah. Thank you, Borky. So, uh, once we get back to Alavest, by the way, I'm calling in the money. <laughs> I have plans for my money. I don't know when we're going to get back to Alabama. I made a, I made a pact with myself, you see. Because if we survived that fight where we was, I would follow through on one of my crazy awesome ideas. Was it the cheesery? No. No, that's why I'm retiring. Some people I'm, keep it, I'm keeping an ear out for goblins. I'm not paying attention to any All of right. this. All right, <laughs> roll a perception check. God damn it, nine. Nine. It's serene forest. You don't hear anything. You hear birds. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> let's just keep going. Sure. Yeah. Let's get. Let's get back in march order. How, how much did we tell Euphoria, by the way, about our daily lives? Like. I imagine you're kind of filling her in as you're walking, like about the tap yeah, room the, in here. We were there for like, we were we walking for like four to six days? Yeah, uh -huh. you guys were working for four hours to five hours. But you're we were, we hour were seven now. 
in in the realm of Discord, we I imagine we were trying to be as quiet as possible. However, you didn't really get a chance to talk, so now it was kind of the type yeah. of talk where you're kind of like. Uh, By the way, did you know we own the bar in Alabast? Yes, you told me that when we were walking. Oh. But I was asking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, I would assume you would talk tell her about that. <laughs> that is good. I did not know my son was such an entrepreneur. Yep, been doing pretty well for myself. I can't wait to see it. Oh, you're going to love it. We've got Helga. She's our bartender. Mm -hmm. And our mom. Right. Ooh, that's, well, don't do that. She's an orc. She's, do she's the bar's mom. Yeah, there we go. We call those bosses? No, we no, own... We no, no, that doesn't work. We own the place. We each own one-fourth stake in that place. Yes, but they're yeah, still well, not in charge. What? We write the checks... We pay the, we hire the employees. I think we are in charge. Yeah, we're in charge, ma'am. I suppose so. <laughs> Don't you dare. Kind of smiles. Don't you I can't Tell this. me more about this this cleric you have, this this log that you have. Oh man, he killed a dude. Oh. <laughs> we straight up, we run, straight up. <laughs> and you just looked at the guy, and the guy just Euphoria disappeared. Before he looks at the ground in that meme of I'm a doctor, but with a doctor loading the gun kind of comes to mind. <laughs> I'm a cleric, I'm a but... but... <laughs> so, have you ever have you ever heard of constructs? They were making some in the city, yes. I heard that they've become sentient over time. Yeah, um, our cleric is one of them. Oh, doesn't it give you the heebie-jeebies, though? Like, make your skin curl a little bit. No, why would it? I mean, they're just like... They're just like people. Oh, you probably won't like the fact that they have a church for their god right out on land. Oh, okay, that's a little bit concerning. <laughs> oh, no, no, we owed it to him because he saved our life. Oh, okay, well, that's good. The yeah, it's good person, because, though, we angered an well, because we angered an Because we okay. angered an evil forest. Well, the, they killed the person because uh, some pirates kidnapped one of our two silver dragons. I'm sorry, you have pet silver dragons? No, 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 they're, no, they're, no they're employees. You have employed two silver dragons. Yeah. My son yeah. is a dragon. Yeah. You have a son? <laughs> <laughs> not, in the, not in the blood sense, ma'am. I just, um, I mean, I don't seem much like the fatherly type. Maybe I just haven't seen them. <laughs> yeah, but he's also... You need, to see, you need to see him when he drops his son off for school, man. We also have... It, it's, uh... Oh. It's a bit of a unique circumstance with with Cast and Taurus. We're gonna. That's some quite new, unique. Also, uh, you should probably know we have uh, someone we call Scarbles, and um, I I'm legally supposed to warn you about her. It's company policy. Uh, Scarbles. Yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You you weren't you there at the meeting? Helga was very clear and concise with us. Everyone must know. <laughs> Did this know meeting about ever happen, Monty? <laughs> no. <laughs> Money, Grickles is going to get back in the trees and keep an eye out for vampire goblins because okay. this at is this, getting at this At this point, the sun is basically almost down. Oh, Damn. bad. But it's still bright outside. You may all roll a perception check. Yeah, oh. Was it like this? Was it, was it like this last well, night? Well, it was thunderstorming last night, so you didn't can see I, anything. Can I? Can I roll? Oh, God, right. can, can I roll to see if I close my eyes and I'll open back up and back to the sweet dragon? No. <laughs> Suffer. No, dang, all beans. All right. 16. Ten. 14. All right, the DC is 10. It is a full moon. <gasps> oh, I fucking hate this. <laughs> oh, no. honey, why? The fucking, fucking cleric beast themes just <laughs> playing in the background. Just, I have a flashback. <laughs> 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 we don't, we're not, we're uh, not fucking <laughs> stopping until we reach the meadow. Mom. Yes? If we are in Tricadia, we should probably find somewhere to hide. Why? Tricadia is so nice. Uh, what? What? Mm. what the hell have you beaten the here? Place... <laughs> Com comparatively to, you know, our old home, uh, most of Tricadia is no, not not nice. No, uh, werewolves and vampires. Mrs. So Panic's mom. There's only three good things that have come out of Tricadia: Panic, Mrs. Panic's mm -hmm. mom, and oh. Rat. What? Never mind. Don't worry about it. He's an old friend of ours that we met in Tricadia. Oh, I see. Mm. 
Maybe we'll run into him again. He is not a rat. His name is Rat. Or rather, that's a code name or whatever. I thought this name. Do. Yeah, I thought this name was Victor. Yeah, his actual name is Victor. Oh. I'm rolling a perception. I think. Uh, I hear the sound of dice rolling. Wait a minute, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say with those perception rolls, uh, Task and Greckles, mm -hmm. you hear a <laughs> of wings. Mm, can I hide, please? Arrow. I'm aiming my arrow at wherever just fucking uh, I heard that. I'm hiding, please. <laughs> you see as these things descent towards you in the darkness. I need everybody to roll initiative. What God the fuck? damn it! I want oh it. boy. But before we roll initiative, we're gonna take a break. Ah! We're gonna take a break. Okay. It's but everyone, please time. roll initiative 19. first before you run. 14. 19. 11. And I'll uh, take the 11. Hey, I'll take that 22. Alrighty, before I head off to the bathroom for a quick moment, Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the additional leap bits. All of you gifting subs. Draconis, Equinox 4, Cold Man, Triple Zero, Red Hood, 1517, Nefast the Fox, Random 18, Boy Luna. Ugh. Salute, headshot, salute. Red King, Death TMS, King 08, OTS, Ojourner. Thank you so much, Hellborn Rider, Whiffer 17, Emon Tizzle Taka, what have you done to me? Huh? Cable McDude, Kaze 3173. Shipman sinking, ship gifting us up to the combat. Thank you so much. Pie Boy 4242, thank you so much. Chaos Rift. Starting now with a coconut cream pie, getting ready for this show. I'll let. Oh, wait, I can't sing that song anymore. At La Gamer with a thousand bits. Thank you so much. Bull Honkin' with a thousand bits. Knowing the internet is a really bad place to voice personal problems, but something has come up very recently about a close family member regarding mental health. Uh, I mean, I mean up with anxiety, so thank you for providing an amazing universe that I can escape to for at least a little while. Here's some modest bits. Well, thank you for the thousand bits, and be good to yourself and be patient with those. Best of luck. All right. Goblins and I Gambits. Right back. Yep. I'm going to grab food. Go I will stay here until one of us is back. Goblins and Gambits with another thousand bits. Finally able to get you live again. Oof. Just got off work and can't wait to see what happens now. You guys are almost home. Also, the offer I made for Taka, Nick, and Bosco regarding Disney tickets. Also goes for the rest of you here in the Unexpectables. They aren't here, so now I get four more free trips to Disneyland. <laughs> good, good, good. Salute, headshot, salute. Feeble and Ribbon, Just Neilan, thank you so much for the uh, for the bits. Uh, Daisy Head with a thousand bits. Oh, sweet Panic is now a Chad hunting horn user. He beat his enemies with his guitar now. Oh shit, Daisy Head. He's now a Chad hunting horn user. My god. Now I'm waiting for that expansion for Monster Hunter. Marcus Atera with 1500 bits. We're in back goblin country. How far to, how far to Alabas, comrade? I give you two nomerias. And or and or and or Roth the insane. Thank you so much for the six month resub. Oh, and I make a lot of the bits as well, Daisy Head. Thank you so much. And Marcus Atera, thank you so much. Who is here right now? Uh, I am here. You're I now in charge that. of the entire stream. Be right back. So, Connor. Yeah. These are, I'm going to guess, goblin werebats. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, new. I, uh, don't, uh, not entirely thrilled about that. But, no, uh, me neither. What can you do? A hide. Hi, chat. How you doing, guys and gals? Oh, oh no. I my, have... my guitar. Uh, I hope you all like it. Dude, it is really sick. Uh, it is uh, courtesy of that art jack. He, 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 I remember he approached me about the new design for it. And he's like, hey, man, how do you feel about this? And I'm like, oh, man, I like it, but I need some time to think about what I want to do. And he's like, that's all right. And I'm like... Actually, you, you want to just help me design it right now? And he's like, sure. So, really, he offered. He offered to help me with it. Nice. He, and it was awesome. He, he he wanted to charge me. He wanted to charge me thirty dollars for it, and I said, "That's funny. You're getting fifty. <laughs> awesome, dude. I have miniature melon pan. Mm. Individual bite-sized pieces. They're like um." They're like uh, those tiny little Oreos. Like the Oreo minis. Ooh. It's good. Melons were pretty good this time of year. Yeah. Oh, man. I see you in the chat. 
you speculating. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of speculating. You'll never know, chat. I'm gonna make you sweat. I will say, you guys have gotten a couple of clues as to wh what that level went into. Mm-hmm. I love the speculation. God damn it. I, I spec into sands. <laughs> well, speaking of. Maybe it's the way you dress. God damn it. Mm. <laughs> Oira. And cookies and cream pocky. Oh. Mm. Oh, speaking of, Gito, Gito, yeah. when when are we taking you to Mitsuwa, man? When, this guy says. Yeah, when this guy when? says. When? Yeah. Whenever you want. Alright. You hit me up this weekend, I guess. Okay, we can do that. I gotta go get more snacks. Mmm. Dude, we got Taiyaki ice cream. Best shit ever. Oh, oh, uh, dude, we got the fucking. My mom sent me and uh, Casey the KitchenAid, uh, the KitchenAid ice cream maker. But the problem is, is that apparently there's a common problem where the ice cream maker part is made for the UK and not for the US. So we have oh, to call no. up, we have to call up KitchenAid so they can send us a replacement one. But I'm like, fuck. We we were so close to being able to make homemade ice cream. We were fucking denied it. Oh, so bad. Damn. Hey, hey, if it makes you feel better. Uh, you can come over and we can make, uh, homemade shaved ice. <laughs> I know it's not as good. I just, I'm sorry, I burger side. I pretty much did the, um, I did the fucking fat American gaijin thing. Oh. <laughs> Wait, no, that's, that's, that's fucking Mr. Plinkett. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Here. As Brian likes to call it, B word fat. Ew. Goblin B. vampire. I don't like B. him. I don't like goblin vampire. I'm back. Oh, oh. oh Belinda. Bless, oh. Ble blessed be this blade of medicine, brain, and baseball. Is everybody back? I think so. Uh, no. No, there is not. Kurt. No. That's fine, I gotta look through my booklet anyway. <laughs> Blessed be today. Blessed be today. Oh, comes in the name of the earth, calls on him the highest. <laughs> They're jewels, Betty. They're jewels. <laughs> They're jewels, Betty. They're jewels. That'll be my next fuck. You know what? Fuck it. My next D&D &D character, when I get a small, craven, asshole character, I'm just gonna make him Tom Green. <laughs> <laughs> and then his no. dad will be ripped horn. I saw fucking Shell posting in the fucking Unexpectables Discord. After surviving hell, Panic died in six inches of water. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. What a way to go. Please no, not Tom Green. Are you fucking kidding me? Listen, I hate to break this to you, but nine times out of ten, when anyone makes a goblin character or a kobold character, that's basically what they're playing. I remember my one friend at Adventures League played a I goblin named Barbecue. Hi. Hello. Hello. We're good to keep going. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let me get some appropriate music for this shit. All right. Casual Monty is scary. Hey, oh, hey. Dun, dun, dun. Here's a classic. To the play. Alrighty. A little, a little quiet, but it's yeah. Very, it's very, very quiet. God damn it, of course. Fucking Monty! <laughs> Alright. So, <laughs> they rolled a natural 20 on their initiative. God damn oh, it. Oh, boy. So. 
what are we seeing right now? You see, the creatures you see have, like, they're almost like if you photoshopped a goblin's face onto a bat. As they fly through the air, they have these kind of, like, hooked, uh, clawed feet. They're wearing loincloths. Uh, some of them are female. Uh, and they have these sharp, serrated teeth, and your mind immediately goes back to those small critters in that it's gar- goblin. Gar-bats. Are they Are they small creatures, or...? They are small. They're the size of a goblin. Hmm. Alrighty. Gross. What the hell are these, these things, guys? Uh, task, seeing as how you are the smallest target, and you're also red and juicy looking. Mm-hmm. This this doesn't see you, These are in the air, by the way, so mm. you don't get an attack of opportunity. It swoops down towards you, Task. Uh, oh god, that's definitely gonna hit. That's, uh, <laughs> Bite. That's going to be a 24 to hit you. Of course it hits. Javelins. <laughs> I need you to roll a constitution saving throw for me. Oh, back to oh, this well, shit. Again. Oh. Uh. <laughs> there you go. All right, you're fine. As the mouth latches onto your side, you feel it begins to suck and begin to eat your blood. Uh, you take six points of piercing damage. Ow. And which one is this one here? Watch out if they attach leech seed. They'll just keep sucking from you. The, and it flies away, which gives you an attack of opportunity as it goes back into the air about uh, 30 feet back up in the air. Uh, so. what weapon can I use? Yeah, whatever's a melee weapon you have on you. Uh, okay. Silver short sword. All right. 16. That hits. Yeah! Eight, Eight. points. It kind of rears back. You see the wound fester as you strike it. The second one swoops down as well. Uh-oh. And is going to attack you. You are bleeding from the neck, by the way. Gross. Uh, that is going to be a 18 to hit you. That hits. All right. No, another constitution saving throw for me. Why does this keep happening? <laughs> Ah, you grit your teeth and you feel something pulse down your veins. You take five points of piercing damage. Yep. <laughs> the third one. Why is the music repeating? Music? Did you, just, did you set it to loop? No, it's dramatic it now. The task has been bitten. The fuck is there tonight is again. Mop, mop, mop. This one is going to go for Euphoria. Oh, this one actually also backs away, but you already use your reaction, so it goes back into the air. I'll just mark the ones that are flying with a wing. That one goes back into the air, quote, 40 feet. This one's in the air, about 30 feet. This one swoops down towards Euphoria. Uh, that, I think, is going to hit her. So I'll just pull up your mom's sheet real fast. She has no armor, so that definitely hits. Uh, ooh, that's, that's a lot of damage. Eight points to Euphoria. Ooh. She also has to make a constitution saving throw. I'm just going to use this to make it easier. Uh, she fails. All right. The one behind you, Borky, is going to swoop down towards you. Yeah. Uh, this one actually is going to also leave as well. By this one, which one are you referring to? The one in front of Euphoria is going to fly away, so she gets an opportunity attack with her dagger. Which misses, unfortunately, as it flies back up into the air. But the one to the east of you, Borky, swoops down and attack you. Hey! Hey! Ah! Uh, that is going to miss. That is a 12. No. And it flies back up into the air. You get an opportunity attack. Oh, and that I shall. Romvald just bap the bap, the gap. Go back. Bap! As you pull out Romvald from your back, you hear Romvald go, Very nice to see you again. You won't believe what happened underground. And Borky, That hits. Punk! Eight slashing damage. All right. It flies back up into the air. All right. 
This one is gonna swarm towards you, Borky, again. More! Uh, that is gonna be a soft 20 to hit you. Okay. Need you roll a constitution saving throw for me. Ooh. Uh, 11. Uh, you are fine. Yay! Uh, you, take nine, you take nine points of piercing damage, though. What the? Oh my god. That's a point. Alrighty. And it's gonna fly away, but you used a reaction. Yeah. The last one is gonna swarm you. Big juicy target. Ah, uh, that is gonna miss. That is an eight. Yay. But it's gonna fly away back up into the air. So they are all airborne. They're kind of like doing flybys, trying to strike towards you. Oh no, they're picking at my beautiful hair. All right, that brings us to Greckles. It is now your turn. All right, so I can finally do some things. Uh, I am technically hidden, aren't I? Yeah. Okay. They did so... not pass their perception checks to find you, <clears throat> even though you only rolled like a 10. Yep. <laughs> they didn't do super great. Cool. So in that case, uh, Greckles clasps his, his hands and fingers together once again and whispers, Genjutsu and summons silent image. Okay. Uh, let's put that sucker, uh, let's kind of put him behind, uh, can I not ping? Hang on a second. About right, right there. 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 There we go. About right there. 15, yep. eight, yeah, that works. Um, okay. It's a 15, 15 foot cube, and I'm going to have it be the dragon form of Ar Dragon form of Arlo? Mm hmm Because I actually okay. know what he looks like pretty well as a dragon, so. Yeah. As you summon this dragon, whew, and it's this huge thing, and it kind of, like, doesn't make sound. It's a silent image. All of them turn to it, and their ears begin to kind of twitch. Mm -hmm. And one turns to the other and goes, Ab Do you speak goblin at all? Unfortunately, no. Does I miss anybody that speak goblin? No. Oh, only giant, no. the complete reverse. Yeah, you guys have no idea what to say. But you notice, I'm going to say with this, that they know it's an illusion somehow. Oh, okay. Uh, I would say roll a knowledge nature, I will say, on your turn. Free action, I'll say that. Can I do that right now? Yeah, absolutely. Because you know this usually works, so it's weird that mm -hmm. it doesn't. Stop 20. 20. They see you using echolocation. Oh, okay, that's cool. All right, so well, I, I will use my... They have a blind sight as long as they are not deafened. Gotcha. Uh, in that case, I will use my bonus action to hide as my that. cunning action. Uh, I... That was your. That was his free action to do that, so he can't tell you on. Until yeah. He's so guys, don't know. Sorry, guys. guys Sorry. I, I will. It was I a free action to get that information, which is kind of huge. So. Yeah. Plus, I I've already used that action. Um, and I need I need to re stealth back in in order to right. give you guys that info. So let me let me, uh, get my. Uh, stealth roll in for cunning action. Okay. That's a 12 for wow. stealth. Yay. Okay. All right. Jesus Christ, these guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah, none of them None of them see where the, the illusion come from. Uh, panic, it is now your turn. Uh, you I see, don't know. You see your mother gripping her neck, kind of sweating. Could... Could I, um, could I make a check based on what what they all saw and as soon as the illusion popped up? The... Uh, I will oh, say, for, I will say for that because you're not using a spell. The reason I gave Greckles that is because he used the silent image spell. That was kind of the effect that it caused. I'm gonna say you can with the bonus action. But it'll be with disadvantage because it happened very quickly, and you only hear their voice when you turn up and look. So, mm. I'd say insight with disadvantage. Yeah, uh, I have to give up Sorry, my bonus action too. Not to fair, but that's the reason why I did that. All right. Hmm. Uh... Hmm. That was Hmm. That's wisdom. God. Damn it. Uh, I was all excited too, Monty. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fuck it. I'm just I'm just gonna I, I, I looked at this and I'm like, oh man. <laughs> no, bonus no, it's action. Fine. Bonus action. I'm gonna activate mantle of inspiration. Everybody in the field right now, except for the bats, gets eight temporary hit points. Okay. 
and they can use their reaction to move without provoking attacks of opportunity. All right, well, Euphoria's going to go back to back with you. <clears throat> By the way, these, As a free action, these free. bats are not within combat range, so you guys, I mean, even with Mantle, it doesn't provoke opportunity attack, but you guys are fine. I'll say, Borky, get back! Okay, is that end of your turn? I'm gonna wait to see if he gets back. I'm here. Honor, uh, Kurt? Yeah, yeah I, you I, have Mantle of Inspiration. Oh my, I didn't hear that part. I'm sorry, I thought yeah, you were just yelling buddy. it as an off oh attack. My God. No, we're waiting for you. All right, Mantle of Inspiration, then uh, I get plus eight at temporary hit points. Yeah, and, and or is it, or is it, or is it plus move, nine, because you leveled up. No, it's just plus it's specific. Okay, okay. Borky just it's... rolls all the way back beside Mrs. Grimtongue. All right. Sorry, I did And, and I... with that, I'm going to... Don't explain yourself. Uh, I am going to cast Shatter at fourth level. On these guys? Right on right on top of them. All yep. right, that's a constitution saving throw, correct? Yeah. They all have plus zero. Oh, no. I'm gonna say they're gonna have disadvantage on these rolls. It doesn't say that. Ooh, that's a natural. Oh no! The first one. Uh, the first one actually surprisingly succeeds because it rolled a natural twenty and a natural sixteen. Plus. Natural. Oh, plus zero, so it still fails. Never mind. This one fails. Yep. This oh. one. DC seventeen another, now. Another natural twenty. God, what the? And a natural one. This one also fails. Third one, that's a natural one. 18, and another natural one. They all fail. So they, right, take, they take 22 damage. 22, 22 right. sonic damage. The first one immediately to the west of you guys looks like its ears explode with sound. And it makes this, ah! this horrendous screech. It's both of its ears, it's like geysers, like when they turn on sprinkler systems in the morning, just blood spurts out. The second one, uh, what's that, guys? I just gotta calculate that was 22 total, so it's gonna be. The other one doesn't seem that bad as it opens its mouth and a bunch of the blood it's had just kind of spills out. The third one, uh, takes the full force of that and explodes. Its head just like, ricochets into pieces and it <laughs> lies on the ground, and as it does, it slowly shifts back into the form of the goblin. Alrighty. And I'll just I'll just stand back to back with my mother, uh, ready to, ready to, uh, uh, you know, just ready for battle. Ready to mess stuff up. Task, it is now your turn. Your neck is throbbing, but you're shaking it off. You're staying in here. I fucking hate Tracadia. I'm rolling a. Uh, I am rolling hail of thorns on the asshole that hit me. Okay, so on these guys right here. Silver arrowed, by the way. Okay. Uh, so he gets Colossus Slayer on top of this. Okay. <laughs> 25. That hits. All right, so once again, Hail of Thorns. Uh, hit a creature with this spell. In addition to all the normal effects, uh, within five feet of the creature that takes a hit. The... Now, I'm going to let you have this, but next time you have to declare using Hail of Thorns before you do the attack to make sure it hits. I, so you have I... to... I yeah, did. yeah, but you rolled the you. Oh, that fucking. That, I'm sorry. Never mind. I'm being an idiot. You're right. You said it. I'm sorry. I, I, I said it out loud. I'm like I said it though. I know that's why I feel dumb now because I'm like brain, please. You're correct. So go ahead. Uh, he has to roll a dexterity save. Dexterity saving throw. I'm gonna Die say it's one. closest to you. So this one that's closest to you. No, I hit him. They, the guy, right, the guy next to him has to roll a dex save. Oh, this, oh, oh, right, because it's an area of effect. That's right. Yeah. Uh, natural 20 again. Oh, damn. I'm gonna grab a different dice. Uh, grab a take dice. half damage on that, so... Okay. I get to roll another 1d10. Uh, he takes half the 1d10, the other guy takes the brunt of it. Takes the full one? All right. Yeah. So, let me roll my damage first. So, first hit's gonna be 7. This is Colossus seven Slayer on... Colossus Slayer on the guy. Okay. Another four, and now one D ten. One D ten. Click it. Eight. Eight. 
Eight, eight on guys. him, and then four on the other guy. Four on the other guy? Uh, the other guy also uh, spits up the blood. You kind of hit it in its belly, and it kind of expunges out the liquid in its mouth, and it kind of shakes it off. It is not very badly damaged, but the first one is. It's like shaking its head. It's got this arrow bolt stuck in it. It's like burning. You hear like a sizzling sound. All right. Uh, let's see. You get a creature with this weapon that puts spell in the spell creates a rain of thorns that sprouts out from your ranged weapon or ammunition. Uh, it says concentration spell for a minute, so I'm not yeah. sure if that means it lingers. So or... what what happens is if you have um like I think it is. But I think it's if you had like something like like Hunter's Mark, you'd have to drop that to do this. Essentially. Oh, okay. So it just but... basically caps you at spell limit. Yeah, more or less. You can't okay, fair that. enough. Uh, like... Take another shot at the first guy. All right. Uh, That'll hit. hit. Eleven. Right in the forehead, and it's dead down on the ground. Use the silver arrow for that. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it sizzles and begins to form back into a goblin. Alright. Unfortunately, that's my turn. It's Euphoria's turn. Uh, she did not take any sound-based spells because she was going to the realm of Discord. Um. What does she want to do here? You know what? She's going to cast Bane. Hey! So she's going to target... We have to make wisdom saving throws or Christmas saving throws. Yeah, yep, they're really like charismatic. The first one here fails. Check out my membrane. <laughs> Time is money, friend. Fails. God, that's a classic. I've got what you need. Uh, 14, which also fails. I like how goblins went from that voice to Jersey. Hurry back. Alrighty. They all, you see, uh, Panic, as your mother thrusts out her hand, you see the sort of blackened veins creep up the side of these goblins, and they're kind of, like, shaking and scratching at their flesh. Hey, hey I know that one. Borky, it is now your turn. Well, Borky... <laughs> as a board of Borky just looks at Panic for the okay to go ahead. Just looks back at Panic. Gonna go now? <laughs> just, yeah. Yeah, you're all. Ah, Borky just. They're up, they're up in the air though, Borky. Don't forget, they're all in. They're I was gonna say Borky wants to jump up and grab one of them by the legs and bring him down. Uh, they're up like thirty feet, unfortunately. Oh no. I'm sorry. I don't have javelins. I don't. Well, you do. You do have Gruel's axe. Yeah, but I want to hold on to that. I like that axe. <laughs> That's a good axe. This is a nice That's axe. Fair. You don't lose a nice axe. What you they always use like a rock. There's a rock on the ground. Is, like, you can use I cast ground. rock. Okay. So that's an improvised weapon. So roll a d20 plus your proficiency mod modifier plus your strength. Proficiency modifier. Is this an unarmed attack? I'm just gonna make. I'm just gonna make this easier for you. One d20. Uh, yeah. It is an unarmed attack. It, it's right there. So use an unarmed attack. Huh. 18. Yeah, that hits. Which one are you aiming for? The one here or the one like, next to each other? But the one that's closest level. to Miss Grimtongue. All right. That hits. Roll your damage. Uh. Yeah. Seven. You, you throw a rock and it's like, you know when you see things like you, you, you when like you watch an anime and someone gets hit so hard with a cannonball, like their head just shears off? <laughs> it's basically that, but with a rock. Uh. The goblin doesn't even get a, sc like a scream out. The other goblin who's like flying in the air just goes, <laughs> As it sees its buddy just drop to the ground and begin to reform. Borky's got two attacks. Is there another rock nearby? Oh, yeah, there's another rock. <laughs> Borky just grabs another rock. <laughs> Borky throws another one. Natural fact, one! You used a yeet. It is Kobe for accuracy. That's right. That's my mistake. Yeet for distance. I'm going to roll severity. <laughs> uh, throws completely backwards. Three, you you just like throw it, but it like slips out of your hand and lands on your toe, and you you basically throw a rock on your foot. Ah! 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 Dang it! No boots are not steel toed. Ah. Alrighty, blue. That is both your attacks. Yes, it is. All right, you are out of rocks in this space, by the way. Damn so it! You have used up the economy of rocks, which brings us back to the 
goblin bat-like creatures. Um, they're hungry, so they're not gonna relent. Uh, I think, yeah, those would be... I, 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 sorry, real fast, above game. I firmly believe these are goblins, but not goblin vampires, goblin ghouls. So I want to call them gooblins really badly. Gooblins. You may be able to identify what they are at the gooblins end. Gooblins and ghouls. Gooblins. <laughs> Still don't like them. Alrighty. I don't like them. I don't like goblins. This one's pissed off. You killed uh. He swoops down. Uh, that is going to miss. That's a 13. Slap him across the face. Fuck you. Yeah, he's flying away, so you can't <laughs> use your reaction to try and make an attack of opportunity. Yes. <laughs> this crabman just does a hard slap. <laughs> just like, hey, cut it out! <laughs> no, no, it's the terminal montage slap. Yeah. <laughs> what? That hits. I slapped him with the sword. Six. Very nice. But he still <laughs> takes back off into the air. Does he rises up. Rock? Uh, does it specify when it procs? It's once in your turn, I believe. Let me double check. Yeah, I think it's once per turn. Yep, yeah, the Colossus Slayer is when you hit a creature with a weapon attack, the creature takes an extra 1d8 damage. All right, it doesn't so yeah. specify. All right, go ahead then. I think it's Hunter's Mark that's once. Yeah, Hunter's Mark is once. This one is just any time it, it's below its max and I hit it, it just All takes right. the extra 1d8, so another two. It takes it. You slice part of its leg as it goes back into the air. Forky, as you're reaching down to grab another rock, this this uh, goblin bat-like creature like lands on your shoulders and goes to bite it into your shoulder. Uh, that is going to be a soft 20 to hit you. Yes, it is. All right, let's make a constitution saving throw. I will be more than happy to do that. For you. Wait, Bane. Bane. Oh, Bane. Bane, 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 Bane. That's right. Thank you, Bane, 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 pull your reroll trigger. I keep forgetting. No rerolls, minus T4. Uh, that's minus one, so it's a 19. I believe that still hits. It does. Unfortunately. All right. Another shot. Uh, you feel fine, Borky, but you do take seven points of piercing damage. Oh as this thing lands into you and begins to suck blood from your shoulder. Ah! Ah, it's on me! Wait, that means it's drinking from tubs. Oh, that's just straight Tubbs up is cholesterol. All fat. Tubbs is That's not good. No, they've already... They, 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 here's he the doesn't have blood. No, 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 it's on my left shoulder. Tubbs is on my right one, and he's terrified. Uh, it does fly away, so you get an attack of opportunity on it as it goes back up into the air. Good. da 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 da, -da. Wrong boat! Natural oh. one. Natural one. Roll, roll severity again. Again. Uh, you go to swing, but your brain is like rock, throw, and Ronfold goes and lands somewhere in the woods. Oh, shit! Oh, my God! <laughs> Alrighty. This oh, second fuck. warbat, uh. seeing you disarmed, is going to swing down and try and bite into your chest. That is a five. That's going to miss. But it is going to fly back up into the air, so you, get, uh, you already used your reaction for your attack of opportunity, so it flies right back up into the air. Uh, Grekles, it is uh, now your turn. Cool. Um... I'm actually going to attack. I know that you guys were wanting to know about the echolocation, but it doesn't really seem to matter to anyone else except me because I'm the only one that's using stuff that would really affect it that much. Uh, so we're going to toss us a dart uh, to the one nearest task that's 30 feet straight up. Yeah, you do get sneak attack on this attack because you are hidden, but technically you would not get the bonus when you have an, an ally within five feet because he's not within five feet. But go ahead. You are hiding, and they did not see you. Okay, that was a lot of information that came out there. Um, Sorry, I'm just saying, like, you're not getting your sneak attack from your ally being next to it. It's just because you're hiding. So oh, no, no, like, no, I understand. Why did he get sneak attack? They're flying. It's that's No, fine. as Monty I, turns I, and looks at the chat with a dead glare. <laughs> of the third, of her third eye. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wooshy woosh. That's a that 24 hits. to hit. And sneak attack as well. So that is 9 plus 5d6. Yeehaw. Boom. Oh, level 9. Uh, that's an extra 23 points of damage. That one dice didn't know what to do with itself. <laughs> <laughs> the, so, you, uh, watch that's 30... creature, you watch as this creature, like, nosedives to get tasked. You just throw the dart, and, like, you see as if everything goes black and white, and you just hear a... <laughs> as it goes right through the neck, and task this 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 bat-like creature crashes into you, but you throw it to the side, and as it stumbles over, it slowly shifts back into a goblin. 
Uh, with my bonus action, I will jump back into the shadows. All right. Roll your spell. Uh, that's better. No, it's not. Woo! Big 14. Big 11. <laughs> cool. All right, that's my turn. All right. Not, not gonna, not gonna free action. I can't free act. There's nothing to free action. Mm. Panic. It's now your turn. All right. I guess I'll just shatter again. All right. You, it, it worked the first time. The only thing is, if you aim for these guys, uh, you will probably hit Borky as well. He's a big boy. All right. What? Uh. Nandato. I don't know about I don't know about their uh, echolocation, so uh, I guess I'll just hit him with my only offensive ability. Um, I'll try to get him on like the outskirts of it. Okay. Uh, yeah. I guess you don't. You don't. Um, know. I'll just uh, I'll I'll just level two, level two shatter. Okay, that's gonna be a Constitution saving throw again. Yep. Advantage. That's gonna be a pass. That's gonna fail. Remember Bane. Uh, that... Oh yeah, it doesn't Remember matter. Bane. They failed anyway. All right, well, they take ten thunder damage. Hello, uh, adventurer. All right. They they're actually doing pretty okay as they get hit with that. It doesn't appear they do any damage, uh, but they the blood that they've sucked kind of spills out of their mouth. I, with my bonus action, am going to give some bardic inspiration to... Task. All right. Uh, that gives me a plus four to attack, yeah? Uh, uh, well, no. You can you can use uh, you can roll if if you fail a roll, you can roll a one d eight. Leave it to d eight. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sick. Yeah. All right. Speaking of which. And the song he inspires you with is "Shot in the Dark" by Ozzy Osbourne. Nice. All righty, Task. It is now your turn. You're feeling inspired. I believe in Task. Task. I believe. Hey, how's it going? Shoot. The one closest to you? Yep. Alrighty. Uh, actually, you know what? Pass Hunter's Mark on him. Okay, bonus action, Hunter's Mark. I don't think you've cast Hunter's Mark, so you're casting it. Yeah, I'm casting it on him, so this is the first Shoot. time cast. This big, scary arrow points above it, and it's like flying the air, goes, eh? Ah! And looks up. 26. That'll hit. Absolutely, that'll hit. Alright, so with 11. that... And that. That's going to be six. Eleven. Seventeen points of damage. Yep, seventeen points of damage. Wait, hold up. That's going to be six. Yeah, seventeen points of damage. It's. It looks so terrible. It is like dangling, barely keeping aloft in the air. Its body sagging and swaying side by side. Oh, good. Then this is going to suck. Another one. Seventeen. That hits. Yeah. As it staggers, you're like, mm-mm, and you snap and you let loose the arrow, and it flies and knocks into its companion and clatters to the ground and slowly shifts back into a goblin. All, All right. right. Well, can't, I can't pass Hunter's Mark on this turn, so go ahead. It is Euphoria's turn. Uh, she turns up to this creature, and she scoffs, and she goes... <laughs> Let us end this mockery. Cast okay, so vicious mockery. Ooh, max damage. Hey, max damage. Max damage, and it fails with a negative one to seventeen. Ooh. Of Bane, so that's four points of psychic damage. And disadvantage. And disadvantage on its next attack. Alrighty, that brings us to Borky. Borky does not have Ron Fault now. Yep. So Borky, uh, which is, oh my god. Borky just pull, pulls off his side that hand axe. Good old gruel axe. And throws it at the damn thing. Or is it? Alrighty. Hey! Ooh, 
15. Oh, it hits. Nine! Nine, and you're not raging, so it's just nine points of damage. Mm hmm All right. It, like, hits him and, like, sticks in his stomach, and he's like, ah! Ah! and snarls towards you, blood dripping from its mouth. How low to the ground is he? It's 30 feet up. Dang it. I have... Forky just goes, hmm. Forky reaches onto his back and pulls it. His last javelin. I need new javelins. I only have one left. Alrighty, you pull out your javelin. Uh, it's withdrawable. Kobe. 19. That hits. Kobe for accuracy. Kobe. Eight points of Eight. damage. You strike him, and the javelin does, it's, it's a small creature, but the javelin does, like, hit him and then fall to the ground. He does take the damage, but it doesn't be appear to be too effective against this goblin-like creature. Ah. All right, that's it for me. All righty, it is its turn. It is thirsting for blood, no. so it swings down with disadvantage. It's and thirsty Bane. for you, Borky. Oh, no. Uh, that is... Must be Wednesday. Disadvantage. Uh, that's going to be a 13 to hit you. It does not hit me. Yeah, I figured that as much. It flies back up into the air. You get an attack of opportunity. You can use an armored strike if you wish. Can I grab it by his freaking feet? Can I not grapple on a, on a reaction? Oh, you can't? So... Yeah, so you just got to punch it or something. I'm gonna punch it. I'm gonna punch it. All right. <laughs> nah, soft that 20. Hits. Soft that 20. Hits. Oh, another net one. Seven. Uh, <laughs> Seven. Uh, what's my t what is Chad? Punch it in the face, and you hear a ah! and like a tooth goes flying through the air, but it's still going back up and flying up into the air. I actually have more damage. Uh, wait, no, I already used that. Never mind. It's already no, you, my you, character you, sheet. You get a D4 instead. Is the deal? Yes, there we go. With improvised weapons. There Doesn't affect your damage. All right, uh, it is now. It is now. Uh, Greckles, it is now your turn. Hooray! Um, seeing that there's just one left, I'm going to try and move out from uh, the brush, make sure it doesn't notice me, so I can go in for one more sneaky dart attack. All right, go ahead. Do I need to roll stealth or just attack? Yeah, just attack, because you're I'm assuming you're running out. This thing is very clearly distracted. Okay, so okay. I wasn't sure about the distraction. Okay. He up. Uh that's a natural, natural 20. Natural 20. So let's calculate the damage, shall we? That's so, double sneak attack damage. Nine, well. three, so that's twelve. 12 plus. Just for funsies. Boom. And boom. Caught! <laughs> that is. 30... Is it dead, Monty? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's dead. It's, it's like, It's like, it's kind of like swallowing the blood it has. It's kind of bloated like a balloon. And you like throw the dart and in slow motion and like it hits and there's like this twinkle sort of sound and it blows up like a balloon. <laughs> and Borky, you're just covered in red as Gruul's axe <laughs> lands next to you. All right. Incredible. <laughs> All right. Oh, that was fantastic. I was like Panic. 40 something. It is now your turn. I want you to roll ah. a perception check. Oh, wait. I wanted to Perception's yell out that they use echolocation. Well, they're all dead, oh. so. Thanks. Oh. Oh, I thought we were still in con. Okay, I thought we were still in combat. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Or no? I Pen? just want. Something's coming, Panic. Something is running through the woods. Ah. Uh. I think something's running through the woods, Atlas. I, well, I, I need to get my sword. Where is it coming from the direction of the sword? It appears to be coming uh -huh. from the west of this direction. Uh -huh. And I threw the sword over here to the top the right. He threw the sword. Uh, you threw your sword like over here, I'm gonna say. Borky starts tiptoeing, grabs Gruul's not, axe. It's not your turn, it's oh. not your turn. What? Oh, well you can grab Gruul's axe. Yeah, I thought you were gonna run and grab Oh yeah, I gotta grab Gruul's axe off the body. All right, okay. you got that. You have Gruul's axe. Okay. All right, Panic, it's still your turn. Is there anything you'd like to do? Uh, once more, um, uh, ooh, mm, I will, I'll do a general check on everybody to see if they're like, all right. All right. Roll a medicine check. Uh, 
See, I was, I was looking great. As your mother is just bleeding from the neck. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, she's my, fine. My throat is looking okay. Alright. Um. Bonus action? Bonus action. Healing word on mom. Okay. First of all. Okay. She's not badly wounded, but. She's mom. Seven. Very nice. Alrighty. That ends your turn. I gotta yeah, 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 get I gotta away from go. <laughs> I gotta go. What are you doing in there? All right. All of you now begin to hear this galloping noise as you see ripping and bursting through the trees, throwing limbs asunder, a large bipedal bear. It runs on two legs and roars in the light of the full moon. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, no, more. Have we been told about where bears? Oh, it can reach you, Taff. It's going to reach you. Oh, good. The bear goes down. All right. Uh, it's going to swing first with a claw attack. Uh, that's going to miss. That's going to be a seven. Hello? Yeah, yeah, okay. that missed. Everyone's quiet. I was meaning nervous. We're a little scared, Monty. Oh, no, no, you just threw a bear at us. We're like, okay, what's next? Uh, it's going to go for another claw attack. Uh, that's probably going to hit. That's going to be a 22 to hit you. Uh, yeah. All right, that's going to be a claw attack. See, I thought we were just going to go back to Alabaster and have a good time this episode. No. Yeah. Right. Nope. That's what you expected. Uh, you take nine points of slashing damage. As this bear roars out, you see froth around its lips as it makes a giant bear roar. Son of a bitch. All right, that ends its turn. That brings us to task. It is now your turn. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, roar! As this bear roars at you. I fucking see. It's like the goddamn Skyrim bear. Escape the horn. Yeah. Yep, with disadvantage. Rolls, rolls at disadvantage. Yeah, you're very good. That's uh, going to be a seven to miss completely. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to move right here. All right, for the sake of this, I'm just going to delete these guys. Yeah, thank you, thank cool. you. Uh, all right, well, pass Hunter's Mark onto him. Regular arrow just to pierce him first. All right. 23 uh, will hit. 23 will hit, okay. Big target. Yep, so 10 plus my Hunter's Mark and Kablam. Four. Another four points of damage. I count Hunter's Mark, and it doesn't really state anywhere, but I count it as magical damage, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. And. Right. You strike uh, it in its chest, and it kind of like shrugs off and like takes down its claw, and rips the arrow out, and roars. Uh, second shot. This will be silvered and ghoul. All right, that hits. 17, that plus Colossus Slayer. Okay. I mean, yeah. 16 Six. points of damage. Nice, 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 nice. So you strike and that one definitely hits a bit harder as the bear roars and can't yank this one out. I am out of silver arrows. All right, it is Euphoria's turn. Euphoria turns and goes, what is that? And she runs back. Tracania, that's what it is. Uh, she is going to, uh, she's turning to you, Greckles. Mm-hmm. She's going to cast Invisibility on you. Oh, sweet. You turn invisible. Fantastic. She is now concentrating. Alrighty. Uh, that would hurt. Actually, she's going to inspire someone. Uh, she's going to inspire Borky. Yay. You're inspired. You get a D8 to attack. A D8? Hey. Oh, Yo, this is, this, this is the first opportunity Borky could bear wrestle. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, Borky, it's your turn. There's a giant <laughs> bear in front of you, and you feel inspired. Oh, so you're approaching me. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's what, it's what I mean. Borky cracks his neck. Ugh. 
Ugh, cracks his bones. Ah, Borky just charges. Ha ha! And Borky decides to. Can, am I able to do what I'm about to show you, Monty, on the thing? All right, over here to the side of the bear and get behind it. Okay. Uh, you have enough movement to get you behind the bear if you want to go, like, right there. Borky gets behind the bear. All right, you can get behind the bear. Borky wraps both his arms around All right. and goes Let's into a rage. Pushing. And he goes into a rage, so it's... All right, so there's going to be opposing athletics of checks. All righty, here we go. Can I, and I can count the, the inspiration, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, I will say yes, because this is technically an attack, but it's kind of, it's weird. I don't know how the fuck to rule suplexes, so this is what we're doing. <laughs> ah! If you succeed, you do damage. 19! It rolled a natural 19 plus 4. It succeeds. You uh, grab it, you try I, to suplex can, it, I wanna, and it I, grounds itself and uh, turns. Oh, I, wanted, I, wanted to, I wanted to ask you at the end of that, do I roll now for the inspiration or after? Yes, you, you can roll now for the inspiration. Ah! Do it, do it, do it. It's oh. a d8. It's gonna be a 23. You have to be a, tw be a 23. So, ah! one. No! Oh! Nope, oh! fortunately. And this the is bear a... turns and snarls, and you're like, Mo oh. Monty, do I not have advantage because I'm raging, though? This is On an strength. attack? You don't get this. Oh, when no! You're raging. Oh, it's no. not a strength check. Because yeah. it's not technically a strength check, it's technically an attack. It's weird. So, how I rule this, I'm just gonna clarify this is you have to do an opposing athletics check, which technically is an attack. It's not an actual athletics check. It's just to beat the enemy, okay. kind of like a grapple check. So you don't gain advantage on it. But if you succeed, you get to suplex them. And that's okay. kind of the fun thing you get to do. And then you do damage, okay. which is you don't do that with a normal grapple. Borky so got it's technically an attack, but in a weird way. Borky, Borky, Borky just... Uh-oh. <laughs> I think that's it for right. Borky. You have a second attack, so you can try again. Come on, lift them up, buddy. Pretty Up fucking strong bear, though. Ah! Borky just yells out a roar from the top of his lungs. Ah! Ten. Ten. No. Rolled a nineteen. It's, it stands there. It grabs you, and it's not gonna do damage, but it suplexes you instead. Ah! Oh fuck! Or oh, reverse. It's you the Tomohiro Ishii of bears. <laughs> you scramble onto your feet and wipe your nose. That's bloody. Oh! Oh my god! It hurts so much. What have I been doing? Borky falls onto the ground. <laughs> wow, I belong here. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, Greckles, it is now your turn. You are invisible. All right, so let's take advantage of that. We're gonna blue blur, dash our way over behind this bear, and don't, and he'll never see it coming. Bringing down the sunblade in a crescent move slash. All right. All right. Ah! That is. <laughs> oh. 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 What is happening? I know. <laughs> all right, all right. You go to swing the sun blade, and as you swing, you turn uninvisible and like anime style. You know when they have that electric bolt that goes past their head when they sense something. Oh yeah, the little. The cheese. bear whips around and like does the sandwich hands and stops the blade. Well, what is this badass chair? No. I'm sorry. And it shoves you back. I'm sorry. I I've just had the ultra instinct fucking theme playing in my head, <laughs> and I just. <laughs> It's Ultra Instinct Bear. <laughs> All right, it is still your turn, Greckles. Uh, oh, I didn't actually dash. That was just my movement attack. I'll use my bonus action to try and hit it once more. All right, offhand strike. No seek attack. Mm. It's very aware of you right now. It's an aware bear. <laughs> oh. That still hits. That still hits. Well done. Son of a bitch. <laughs> so that is two. Two points of damage. That's radiant, though, right? Mm-hmm. Brar! You hit it around the back. Brar! You hit, its, you hit its tail. But it is now the bear's turn. Oh, no. Uh, are you going to move at all, or are you going to stay where you are? Oh, yeah, no, we're moving. Uh, all right. I've got, I've got, I've got uh, that was 25 feet, so i got 15 feet to work with, so. All right. One, two, three, there we go. Uh, okay. The bear turns around back to face you, its eyes very stern and serious. It's going to do two palm strikes towards you. Oh. oh. The first one is going to be a 24. <laughs> is he a monk? A monk bear? It's for flavor. It's bear damage. Come on. <laughs> bear damage? Bear bears. Thank God I'm raging now. Christ. 13 points of, of uh, slashing damage. Ha so cut down to 
Cut down to six. Cut down to six. Okay. Second claw attack. Uh, that is going to be a 21 to hit. <laughs> it hits! This fucking bear, man! Oh my god, max- oh no, not max damage, but pretty close. Uh, that is going to be, uh, 16 points of slashing damage, cut down to eight. Oh my- As it, like, it does, like, the fist of the north side, to you, Borky, but with, like, the claws outstretched, it's, like, jabbing you in the chest. Oh god. Good god in heaven. Alrighty. Uh, that brings us to task. It is now your turn. All right. Well, it's master of the art of CQC. Take shots at this thing. All right. Uh, I'm gonna say ghoul on each, so it's not fucking just bare damage. Uh, yeah. Uh. Twenty-four. That hits. All right. So that's ten. Okay. Don't mind that. Uh, yeah. And then Hunter's mark and Colossus Slayer. That's gonna be 14 points of damage. Yep. And... So I'm just gonna calculate here real fast. 14 points is gonna be. Okay. Second shot. <laughs> it turns and looks towards you. 14. Four 14 hits. Thank God. Oh, the so big that was target. A two and a three. Two and a three. Ten, another 10 yeah. damage. Nice. That's cool. Yep. Well, yeah. All right. You strike it, and ice shards erupt past his back, bristling the fur. And uh, Zoidberg away. <laughs> uh, Euphoria turns to you, Panic, on her turn. It goes, should I interfere? What's going on? I I don't know. They're kind of being weird right now. Ah, I think they're all. I think ah. I think they're all combated out from the you know. Well, I know what to do. And she walks up with her hands on her hips and points to her and goes, goes, stop that bad bear. <laughs> Whoa. <just> hungry. <laughs> Max damage! <laughs> Damn. Uh, nope, he fails. So ah! he a psychic damage. Oh. The bear turns and goes, There's <laughs> advantage on his next attack. God damn, I love this. Four points of mom damage. <laughs> Anna, right. Anna. Borky, back around to you now. Borky's standing up like Rocky in the fifth round. Shadow, you got here, bear. Shadow, you got. Cause you know what I got? One more. Borky just goes for a hug. He's gonna cry and grab him around the waist and throw him over his shoulder. All right, another athletics check there. Shoves his fucking chest into the icicles. Uh, another athletics 18, check. You have to beat an 18, yeah. Uh, Come on, dude. 25! Yeah! You go. grab him by the center, and what do you do? Just flip him over Wait. my shoulder. You Monty. flip him over your shoulder, and he crashes to the ground, yes. Uh, Vicious Mockery should be 2d4 at her level. What the hell? That's weird. Oh, it doesn't automatically apply. It'll fix that. All right, so unarmed attack ro damage? Yep, unarmed attack damage. As you flip this bear over your shoulder, it crashes to the ground. All right, cool. Just hit the damage die. Okay, sorry. Eight plus two! Eight. Max point. Ten points of damage. That's pretty good for an unarmed attack. Yeah. yeah. It staggers up and stands up. You still have your other attack. Actually, that's plus three. I got. Sorry, that's one extra rage. Sorry, we forgot about yeah, that. That's right. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Eleven. Plus three. Gotta remember that. All right. Forky Need your just, second attack still. Forky cracks his deck. It's for a penny. And Forky just charges in and goes for another grapple. Just to throw the bear. It's actually just All a right. football charge, like a spear almost. All right, you have to beat a 16. Ah, Forky's gone, dude. 23. Yep. yep, again, you throw the bear again. Oh, well, unarmed attack one more time. <laughs> Seven. Plus, Plus three. three. It's 10. All right, you flip over the bear, it crashes and staggers up. It's got drool dripping from its face and blood coming out of the nose. It kind of rears back and roars in the full moon. Reckles, it is now your turn. Seeing this madness, let's just get this over with. Reckles gives one more dash. The tough tries to bear. I know, and tries to bring down the sun. Am I Wait, Am I yeah, didn't turn? Yeah, it was Panic's turn, wasn't it? No, it's, it's Borky, then Greckles, and Panic. Did Panic go last turn? You didn't get a turn. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. I was about to say, he didn't go at all. I'll give you a turn now, and then you'll have a turn. Yeah, go for it. 
I'm so sorry. <laughs> Shut up, Connor, stop. Connor, you've had enough turns. I, you know, I just... Okay. <laughs> It is your turn now, and then we'll we'll make it Greggles, and then your turn again. My bad. Okay. All right. I guess I'll go up in the <laughs> hill. Hill. <laughs> uh, what's the range on this? Sixty feet. Uh, I'll point at the bear, and he'll be like, "I, I bet you got kicked out of the house because your roommates can barely stand you." You watch as the bear, you, they has disadvantage on the saving throw. You watch as the bear, like, the ears droop, and they look slowly very, very sad towards you. Ha ha, pow! <laughs> uh, that's a ten, so they fail, and they take five psychic five damage. Five psychic damage. <laughs> it looks really sad and depressed. Now I don't want to kill it. Dang, it's such frustrating. Fucking Connor comes in with the fucking psychic steel chair across the face. All right, now it's, now it's... Fuck you know, off! Do you want to do a bonus action? Uh, I don't think I'm good. All right, Greckles, it's now your turn. Cool, I'm gonna use 15 feet of my movement to go up and try to stab this thing from the back. Hey, it's okay, right. buddy. Put a knife in his back and it's, away. Yeah, it's okay. No, it's it's it's, it's, it's like in Fallout 4 with that, what's the freaking name? Ah, whatever. I'll moments pass. Sunblade, please end this. 23. Yeah, that hits. Seven rate or excuse me, twelve radiant. Twelve radiant. It's plus uh, do I do I get my sneaks? Yeah, you get sneak attack because there we go. There. There's an additional twenty-one radiant. Twenty-one. Shh. Shh. It's, okay. it's still it's still <laughs> kicking. It is still oh, kicking. The fuck. Cool. It's a fucking werebear. It's very. It has a lot of fucking health. Sandman's coming. <laughs> All right. I'm assuming you move. Yeah. yeah. I was just mapping it out. Borky. Once again, the werebear, which is doing battle with you, is going to attempt to suplex you again. Oh Use your old athletics check. You have to beat a 22. Does oh. he have disadvantage because of Vicious Mockery? Natural yes, 20. Does. Does that matter? Doesn't matter. You get the reversal on him. Roll unarmed attack damage. Oh my god! And 8 plus 3, 11. 11, very nice, very nice. Dude. All right, uh, it gets up and shakes its head, very dazed and dizzy. It's missing patches of fur. Uh, it's gonna go just for a straight claw attack now. That's gonna be a soft 20 to hit you. It does hit me. Uh, that is going to be 13 points of damage cut down to six. Oh, yeah. It slashes you across the front of the chest. God, that ends its fight. turn. I'm, get I'm getting Task, all- it is now your Task, it is now your turn. Okay, well, here I go shooting again. Ghoul. Okay, that hits. Seven plus that. that. Wait, come on, roll. Okay, 20. All right, seven. I, got uh, I see a two and a five there. That's seven total. Oh, so, no! so 14 then. Yeah, you stick him right in the butt. Okay, <laughs> another shot. Good. Still standing. This is such a weird fight. Did, did, that hits. Did we skip panic again? Yeah, we did. Oh, ah, 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 ah. Sorry. Yeah. It's fine. Water, oh, come back. Okay. Guess I'll just go fuck myself. <laughs> <laughs> Modern panic, no! 11 points, I Here I go. <laughs> 11 points? All right, yeah. it is still standing. All right, Connor, go ahead. It is now your turn, panic. Can I get, like, something for free? <laughs> you wanna just walk up and clock the bear? Cause you can do so with advantage. I'm going to run the fuck up to the bear and just V-trigger it in the face <laughs> okay. to try and knock it out. Roll to hit. What, what would this be? Unarmed strike, so just roll a strength or dexterity. I'll say strike cause monks see dexterity. So just a stroll strength, strength attack with advantage. Okay. So 1d20 minus 1. Cool. <laughs> but it's advantage. With advantage, you roll it twice. Yeah. That Three. Misses. And... That hits. <laughs> I just... I just... Panic is just so sick of this shit. He's... 
it's like this guy is fucking tanking everything we you know what and he sets his guitar down he runs the fuck up to this bear and just with the with the hard part of his knee just bam across the jaw the bear spins in circles and crashes to the ground and as it does its form shifts and you see half dam Dan? Oh. Half Dan, the Northlander. Oh! Oh my oh, god! Bitch. God damn it. Did we just kill Half Dan? <laughs> He's unconscious. No. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! What are you doing in Tricadia, Half Dan? <laughs> he was a. He was a werebear? Wait, yes, he, what? Yeah, he told us that one time. Oh my god, I had to fucking fight another bear? Oh my god, we killed him! Oh my god! Now, how the fuck did he carry this? Pat, pat, uh, pass points to his fucking neck. I'm not feeling oh. so good. Uh, what was it? Remove curse or greater restoration? That the uh, both was the thing that. Oh, uh, both. That oh, then I can patch both of us up. Uh. Not lesser restoration, greater restoration. Greater restoration. Oh, or remove curse. Hey, I mean, feel a bit lightheaded though if, myself. If uh. If half Dan's here, then oh man, uh, I level level three healing word on half Dan. Hold up a minute, roll a knowledge arcana real fast. <clears throat> Hold up, hey. Okay, I'll say a ten is enough. How do you know he's not just gonna turn into a werebear again and attack you? I uh, halfway through my healing word, I'm like, and the healing. Uh, wait, look, let's just look like. I guess tie him up then. Does anyone have steel chain for the bear man? Um. Only have seven feet. Uh, by the way, why did no one grab only. my goddamn sword? I swear to God, I'm happily no one grabbed my freaking sword. And get... There it is, there it is. I take, ev I, take everything I off him. <laughs> He's not wearing anything. He's naked. Oh, oh okay. good. Oh, good grief. <clears throat> um, Euphoria digs through her bag and goes, I have a lamb. Oh, and perfume. Uh. And Ma'am, <laughs> that you're very, you're taking this very calmly for someone who just got fucking bit with a canterpy. I tried to find it when problems arise. I just try to keep a cool head most of the time. Why did Half Dan attack us? He's a werewolf, Fort. He's, He's a werebear. Oh, wait, did did he ever say that he lost control on a full moon? No, he, this is probably recent. Okay, so we're right. not. Are we? Um, are we? Forky, I don't think we're in Tracadia. I don't know. Are there other were beasts uh, throughout the land? There were were rats in the Probably. city. I mean, there were, and there were were boars near the uh, the shrine of. Uh, yeah, all the orcs. You know, the, yeah, all boar people. So there may be um, other were creatures then. Like we so. might just be in the Northlands. Yeah, and we almost killed um, Half Dan, so that's. All right. We need to we need to find the road and stay on it again, or something. It might be better to find <laughs> shelter and just stay hidden. What? If I agree. Also, we should probably take about as much rope as I have, which I have a fuck ton of, by the way. I'm not remaining cursed. I'm sorry. I'm 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 gonna be that asshole. I'm not staying cursed. No, he has a point. We probably need to figure out something for you know m mother and task. Are there any? Wait, are we in the field or not the field? The uh. Um... You're you're in woods. Also, I'm bleeding from the neck. Can I get some healing? Uh, yes, of course. Thank you. She I'll pull that. out the orb. Of... While she's doing that, I'll pull out the orb of sending and I'll try to contact. Uh... Ah, what was, what was her name? The 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 pregnant lady last time. She she's she spoke common, right? Nineteen points of damage. She did not speak oh. common. No. Uh, which no one? one, no one but half Dan spoke common and Olafson. I'll, I'll, I'll contact Olafson then. Okay. Uh, I'll be like. Twenty-five words. By the way, before you do that, because I've been rolling death saving throws for uh for good old half Dan here, he begins to rouse. Uh, bind him, bind him, bind him, bind him. All right. She body a... style binding, please. I, I have a... blind, blindfold no, him. No, I have fucking yeah, blindfold him, and I also have seven feet of of a uh, chain link. Oh hell yeah! 
All right, yeah, easy enough. You guys tie him up, and as he begins to wake, and the fur begins to regrow, and he starts kind of growling. I'm assuming you guys tie up the mouth as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know what else? I'm gonna I'm gonna put a knife to the heart of a silver knife to the heart of all the goblins, cause fuck that. All right, yeah, go ahead. Uh, you realize now, looking at this, these are were bats, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Fun fact: they're in Dungeon of the Mad Mage, and they're really cool. Hell yeah. Are they yeah, goblins by like default, or is it a template? Sorry. It is an actual creature, an official creature, the were cool. a were bat. Yeah. Remind remind me, uh, her the the pregnant one was his wife, Olafson, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's Bjornsson, son of Olafsson. Uh, and Sindra was his wife's name. What about Grandma? Grandma Octopus. Grandma Ol Octopus. Olga Spirit Caller, yeah. O Octo Mom. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. <laughs> That's a fun message you're writing there, buddy. This is intense. We just don't want to throw them off. <laughs> We're so focused. 17. <laughs> the message is, you probably don't remember, but we helped birth your son. We found Halfdan. Did he read recently? We're in the woods, him and Werebats. Please help. <laughs> that is and then I your baby. Can you repeat that for me? Just because one part got a little weird. I just want to make sure I clarify something. Can you say that again one more time for me? You, you probably don't remember... But we helped birth your son. We found Halfdan. Did he leave recently? We're in the woods. Him and Werebats, please help. <laughs> All right, I'm writing the message back while you guys are tying him up. I'm going to say Halfdan's one word. <laughs> half a dan, it's his name. Half a dan, you have one word. We count hyphenates. Does he have Why does the magic work? Does he... That's his name. Does he have two first names? Half Dan John. You see, my father you was remember... killed by a man with two first names. You remember that his name is is Half Dan One with Bear. That is his full title. God. I just gotta do this really quick. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. We just kicked Half Dan's fucking face into his mouth. What do we do with him? Well, we're not in Dracadia. I, I mean, I don't think so. That means we got. Yeah. You said this was werebats, right? And yeah, there were like werebats. Why do we have werebats in Alavast? <laughs> Why do we have were rats in the city? I mean, there are other were there are other were creatures in Alavast. I mean, the were boars, the the double tusks are were boars, so. Mm. Uh, it's true. It's true. We may Look. just we might not be Come to think of it, I didn't remember seeing any goblins when we were in Tracadia. Alright, this is the message you get back. Okay. One with goat Immediately. Half Dan leaves on full moon to be one with bear. Just lock in room or tie to three. What are bats? What are the and it just cuts off. <laughs> what are <laughs> <it>? <laughs> bitch? All right, we're going to need to make... So based on that, we're going to need to make camp, tie up half Dan, bite a tree, and uh, have a fun night, huh? Well, um, do we want to make camp, or do we want to keep try to keep try and move? So we leave our unconscious friend here in the middle of the woods with back... Oh, we take him with us, Borky. Okay, that's fine. 
He's very He's strong. a heavy man. You could probably carry him, Borky, but that's, it's gonna be hard. That's fantastic, Greckles. Do you plan to assist with that? I can if I need to. Glad you take the legs. Fine, I'll take Fine, the legs. Fine, you do that. Fine, I will. We're dragging Half Dead's right. ass along the ground right now. <laughs> he's he's putting up a fight. Like he, he the chain. Lucky, thank God you have chain. Thank God we uh, thought to get chain. Uh, yeah. I'll, no, I'll we didn't think to get it. I just picked it up off the fucking floor when we fought uh, at the tower. See, that was a good idea. I'll I'll give him a, a little whisper. I'll be like, hey, Half Dan, it's me, One Loop Goat. Uh, could you? I, I I highly suggest that you not make a fuss, and I'll cast suggestion on him. Okay. Calm. Why don't Calm. Why don't we blindfold him? Northlander so tits. Why don't we blindfold him so he can't see the moon so it doesn't work on him? We <laughs> did. All right, that's a wisdom save. Ooh, it is a ten. Nope, he fails. Yeah. Hey, Monty. He loosens up and stops thrashing. Good. Good. Hey, Monty. Hi. Do I? Uh, can I find, like, an animal that can move fast through the night? Like, something small? Uh, I mean, it's pretty hard to find animals at night, even with your dark vision. Ah, damn it, because I was going to do fucking... I was going to find something that can travel by night and get Olga by with uh, Animal Messenger. I'll say roll a survival check to see if you can find an animal. Here I go. Twenty-one. Okay. Trying to think what would be around in this area. You still got Orby. Bats. I, they're not gonna fucking get there fast enough. <laughs> I just imagine you put Orby down and he moves like five feet a turn. I just want to give that context real fast. What, what if, if he, he rolled up in a ball and yeah, give him look, like a spin dash? Look, look. If Dark Crystal taught me anything, it's it that Dark Crystal. Orby Look, orthopods could make for good transportation. It's all I'm saying. Uh, you know what? For you, Zito, you find an opossum. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna call you Lionel. <laughs> it yells as it sees you and, like, just, it's like, its mouth is open. It's got a bunch of babies clinging to its back. It's grim. Uh, uh, all right. Animal messenger. All right. Find Olga. Tell, tell her where we are. We have half Dan, and two of us are cursed. Please help. Okay. The uh, marsupial lumbers off with its babies in tow and disappears through the foliage. Uh, question. No, we could probably follow it. Does 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 the spell make it automatically track? It has to. It has to locate the person I tell it to. But does it do that automatically, or does it actually use its opossum senses? I'm gonna say for this, it is walking, so you can follow it. Yeah, fuck it, let's I mean, follow it. I mean, I mean, Half Dan's good for eight hours after what I did to him. Uh, yeah, question. It, do we need to uh, bind Task and your mother just in case? Oh my. Not like that, you idiot. <laughs> Panic narrows his eyebrows and Forky at that. Euphoria gives you a shoots you a look too, like Task points his arrow at him. I, I make it to say that that's going Half to be Dan, awkward. Half bound is like he's like as stops thrashing and immediately turns and looks towards you. <laughs> <laughs> the opossum leaving you stops in its tracks and turns up as well. And then all its babies in succession all turn and look towards you. <laughs> Man, screw you guys. I want to go on an adventure. Go to the fucking get quick lag. I want an animaniac, <laughs> uh, animatic of that. Animatic. 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 Sorry, I'm tired and. No all right, worries. getting all right. back in. We're following time, which canonically is Lionel's mother. All right, you guys keep moving forward. And exactly eight hours pass. <laughs> and as it does, the sun begins to rise, and Half Dan slowly turns back into himself. And you hear him go, What is going to do? It just prevents the sail that will look really like this. With all, hair. It's very cool. all right, unbind, oh, unbind. And I'm just saying, it is such a bad circumstance. But hello! How are you doing? We're uh, exhausted. Uh, I turn, me we and her are turning into <laughs> were creatures. Oh, that is bad. But it's kind of got its benefits, though. I don't. No, I. 
we'd really rather not while while it's still preventable at this point, Half Dan. Right. Uh, right. Does 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 Olga know anything? You know, like uh, to stop that. Yeah. Uh. Well, it's a bad news about Olga. She's dead, isn't oh. she? And he takes off his invisible hat. <laughs> she has one with Lydia now, but uh, Frelda's gotten quite good. Better than nothing. That is probably our best bet. Uh, I am so sorry can... about attacking you as such. I use my claws as much as possible, I... so that way you do not get to become one with bear as well. Okay, so okay, okay. Uh, I, don't I, 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 guys, guys, I'm sorry. Move out of the way, please, Paddock. Sorry, I just. I'm... Uh -huh. Pick up half, time half done. I've got three questions Hello. for you. Hello. Hello. First question. Of is this Tracadia or Alavast? What is a Tracadia? Okay, it's Alavast. All or right. Well, we're in Alavast. We're in Alavast. Okay. I mean, we probably could have we probably could have gleaned that off of the message I sent to uh, Olaf's. Maybe he went really far. I don't know, dude. Maybe it was a portal. I no, we're know. in the north. We're in, we're in the Northlands. Okay. No, you're not. Well, you're near our settlement. Where are we then? Right, right, where we met Crabius the first time. Who's Crabius? Long story. Uh, He's a long so story. Powerful really cool being. Dude. Could, could I be untied? I will not attack you, I promise. I question, right, question, right. question number two. You you. Go, are oh. you good? Oh, yes, I'm fine. And number three. Forky offers his hand. Nice match. <laughs> he takes your hand and lifts himself up. It was a very good fight, though I don't remember most of it. Kicked your ass, pretty solid, one on one, no, no, no interference. It felt pretty evenly matched. Mm, no, man, it's, that must have been the. And the... I have a, and he pulls one of your arrows out of his butt. Task. He's naked still, by the way, and tosses oh, it good. to it. I think that you had some help. Oh, let me get Looks a leaf. Like... Euphoria's kind of looking like... away with one hand, and he's like, "Oh, let me get the leaf." He watches. He grabs a big leaf. And how big? It over how big is the leaf? The chat wants to know. Comically, it's very large. No. You're all looking also, so to... good and so weathered. I like your clothes. Very nice. To 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 be honest, uh, uh, half then we actually had to carry you all night, so we're probably a little tired. Well, it is fair. You can rest in the side of our house. Oh, that close? sounds lovely. Hey. What the... <laughs> how far? How far is a? Well, I don't know. I usually find my way back up eventually. I find the beach and then I take that boat. But you took me somewhere else, so I don't know. Uh... I look at I look at time. <laughs> Time the the possum. Yes, that's They're going. Up right. Half half Dan, do you do you know of any roads nearby? We could probably just follow those for a while. If... It's just the beach that leads to our lands, though. I heard news about the road being built between the village and there, but it is probably a hard road to take. I would take the beach. It's very nice, very scenic and romantic this time of year. I uh, I think we need spe speedy rather than romantic, because. Uh... Don't know what the, what the what the threshold for lycanthropy uh, taking hold permanently is. It usually takes about a week, maybe three days, depending on how bad you've been bitten. Yeah, exactly. So I think maybe... my entire neck was ripped open. That is bad. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> That's bad. Uh, let's let's uh, let's try to get um let's try to get uh, going to uh, Ferelda. Yeah. So she will probably not want to see me. Why? What'd you do? Well, naked for one. Oh. Yeah. And two. For two. He, kind of, he kind of leans forward. It is my time of the month if you catch my drift. I don't. Full kind of moon. points Four. points to the sky. Full moon. Full moon. Oh, right. 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 But I will get you back to the house, and then I should probably get back to the woods. Okay, right, well, there. uh... Oh, by the way, he clasps all of you on the shoulder somehow and pulls you into a huddle. <laughs> I, would, uh -huh. I would very much appreciate it if perhaps you keep out my little detail with the people of the city. Oh, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, sure, sure, pal. Okay, okay. we'll do that. Oops, sorry. We will do that, half Dan. If you can promise me one thing, two things. One's mm -hmm. really easy, the other one's more complicated. Number one, we have a rematch someday at the greatest stage of all. We'll find it whenever we find it. Number two, mm. have you considered investing in chains and just chaining yourself up to something during that? Usually that we do that, but 
sometimes I break free, other times I destroy the room. So instead they just let me loose and there's no one around I here. I mean, we, we were around here. Yeah, but that was weird. Other this than... is our land. You're other not than... to be supposed to be on our land. No offense. Uh... Well, other than, you know, goblins. Yeah, I was gonna ask, actually. Half oh, do you, what do you know like, about he, these goblin bats? He waggles his fingers. We have a nasty infestation. Of goblins, bats, or goblin bats? Both. But mostly the goblins that turn into bats, and also just goblins. Do you remember? You helped Does me find name... some! Yeah. Does uh, the yeah, name we... Phantom Limb Starva ring any bells? Um, no. Hmm. Hmm. I assume we're walking while we're, while we're saying Yeah, you yeah, guys, you guys so are, too. you're following the opossum, so yes. <laughs> uh, you guys walk for quite a few more hours until okay. eventually you see what looks like a stone shrine. Oh, and the halfdan kind of runs forward, holding the leaf as he runs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's probably a sight. Can, can, can we, can artists, can we have an Eric Andre situation, but with just halfdan? <laughs> You watch as he runs up and slaps his hand on the shrine. Here's Olga! And you watch as the opossum just fucks off. It literally just, like, <laughs> stops, stands there, and then goes, ah! And then runs up a tree and disappears. Ooh. Hello, Olga. Mm. It's nice to see you. I turned into a bear again. Slap, slap. Aw. Uh, hello, Olga. Sorry I stabbed you that one time. You feel like a weird chill run down your back as if a tentacle is running a up your back. Phantom tentacle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's crazy, Mrs. Grimtongue. You should have been here. Panic. It was a quite a sight to behold, let me tell you. Hey, I think maybe... Panic less story was entwined more, with tentacles. More get, getting people uh, un, unwear batted is top priority right now. I'll ask more about the tentacles later. I don't... <laughs> you guys proceed forward, and eventually you see the long house of the Northlanders. <sighs> Thank goodness. That's actually so much better than whatever is in Tricadia. <laughs> ah. All right. All right, half Dan. For what it's worth, it was nice seeing you again, and thank you for your assistance. Of course. I'm sorry I kicked your ass. I apologize for this. Oh, oh I'm I'm swell. Uh, what the fuck uh, up? Uh, let's, no. let's let's establish something. Had I not oh. had I not need you in the face, you would be dead right now. Gentlemen, it's been a night. Can we put our dicks away, please, and go to bed? Laugh well, Dad, Caddy do doesn't have pants! He can't! He has nothing on! <laughs> neither can you All right, neither, you know what? Neither you know do what? you, Tass, but we never bring it up! You know what? I'm actually going to minor illusion him a pair of basic underwear. It's a five-foot cube. It's a thing, and it lasts for one minute. So <laughs> I want to believe it's a bad Photoshop, and when he moves it, just doesn't go with him. It's <laughs> like a shitty JPEG that's been photoshopped over his leg. You, you, <laughs> you just you, you you fucking you put a mosaic blur over his. Uh, we'll go with the mosaic blur. We're gonna mosaic blur his junk. <laughs> oh, magic shirt is something. He lifts up the leaf and just looks down. Oh, I can still see it on my side, though. That's fine. We don't see it on yours, and that's all that matters for the next minute. I'm, I I willingly fail my investigation check, Monty. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Oh Back off to the woods I go. Tell everyone I say hello. And also not to go into the woods, or else, you know, I might kill them. <laughs> he just run yeah. is, that a war is that a warning or a threat? <laughs> oh, he's not answering I the question. I think it's a warning. Bye, Half Dan. Bye. Half Bye. Half Dan. Guys, guys, he fucking powder toast, man. He bends down, just jumps over the horizon of the woods. <laughs> you can take you can take that image yeah. off the OBS now, Greckles. <clears throat> what a, what a great... No, it's it's there for a minute. I can't do anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, what a, what a, what a great guy. Very nice. there, what a lad. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> all Let's right. Find this uh, cure. I'm going to uh, walk up to the house, cast tongues on myself. Okay. <clears throat> oh, allow me too. Uh, also, mother will also cast tongues on herself. She has to Ooh, cast hey. it. She has to cast it twice though, because she has two tongues. We know so many. <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> just, just we know so up. many similar spells. <laughs> God. <clears throat> oh no! Oh, you're ecstatic, buddy. I am. Oh no, you're you not. were for a minute. 
Well, yeah. when you knock on, when you knocked, it was static. Ah. Uh, I'll knock on my phone then. You hear this really heavy lock be lifted, and you see Frelda, who looks older, a year older. Hello. Hello. <laughs> a looks a year older. Hello. Hello. Hi. Looks uh, over and sees Task bleeding from the neck. I don't know if you remember us. We uh, helped when you were with child. Um, I am we, not with uh, child. What are you talking you about? You, you mean Sindra? And she like juts a, a thumb over and like she opens the door slightly and you see uh, Bjornsson's wife currently like kind of leaning towards looking out the door. She's got a baby and a papoose in the front and then she's got the other kids running around. Right. Sorry. Forgot been a long time also we need some help please she uh, opens up the door and lets you in but she's kind of got her eyebrow cocked a little bit hi hello hello the kids kind of oh. run over to their mother and kind of hide hello how's the little one it's me one with goats hello one with goats uh Wilkin is doing good very healthy made it to a year which is good she kind of pats the baby the baby's fat <laughs> He's awesome. Well done. You look like you're doing great for yourself. Is her... Sorry. Taka, come on, man. Come on, man. Say it. Say it. I am not. We, a uh, I, I am we... not a clown. <laughs> That's right, a couple of my friends. Ah. Oh. Uh, well, my mother and one of my friends may have uh, had had a bit of a run-in with them. Uh. And some nasty creatures and Vampire goblins of the magical variety. Shh. They look they look puzzled. The magical they don't understand what Borky's saying. He just yells suddenly and they're like, huh. Oh. Uh, of the magical variety. Um if you catch my drift. You have quickly learned our language. No, I haven't. <laughs> Uh, this is magic. You, Euphoria is just like <laughs> <laughs> behind, behind you, kind of laughing at you. Oh, no, I, I haven't. Um... I see. She kind of looks disappointed uh... a little bit. Bring them in. I will take a look. But I am not as effective as Olga. Make sure rest in peace. She is with Yidia. She runs the wilds of her plane. May she run in peace. No. <laughs> she won't. I'm all right. She looks at you. Right, she looks at you now. like, no, she won't. <laughs> all right, they load you in, and she looks you over. I'm just going to roll a medicine check here. Plus four. That's a 21. Hell yeah. Oh. Woo. Yeah. All right, she looks at both of you, and she turns to you, panic, and goes, the bite is quite deep, and the lycanthropy is definitely in the bloodstream. I'd say they maybe have three days before it takes. Yeah, um... I wouldn't happen to know how to stop that or slow it down, at least, until we can get back to our home. Knowledge Arcana! Mm. I don't have anything that will cure them, no. Nothing to slow it down either. Uh, medicine check. Not with the ingredients here, no. <sighs> I will clean up the wounds, though. That should help at least a little bit. Cass, she comes over and begins to clean the wounds. It stings like a motherfucker. <clears throat> But you know, she wraps your neck with this very soft, kind of linen, silken bandage sort of thing. It's very plush. Uh, mm. She does the same, but as she goes to work on mom, she sees the second mouth and immediately like goes, ah, 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 and she like hides behind, uh, hides behind you, panic. No, no, she's oh. she's all right. A uh, little bit of a. Uh... Oh, it, it's okay. You watch as your mother reaches into a bag and she puts a kazoo, like a like those little like blow like ribbon things for like birthday parts like a bird, that birthday thing and she puts it in the neck and it blows that out and just doesn't get the effect that she wants <laughs> goes ta-da <laughs> she's different she's one with mouth 
I've noticed one with <laughs> eel. Like the eel, she has two mouths. I understand. And she walks over, like, kind of trepidatious, kind of walking over, and she bandage. She's really struggling to bandage her mom because she's like, don't go into the second mouth, don't go into the second mouth. But eventually she patches her up, too. I can't imagine that being really awkward. It's really <laughs> awkward. And it's worth like, breathing. Like, other mouth is like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Bjornsson is upstairs sleeping. He keeps watch during her her gaze goes completely like annoyed his moods. Yeah. He says hi by the way. <sighs> she just walks away slowly. And closes the door. <laughs> well, are we cured or not? No. We will we should probably get back to Alabaste ASAP. Would you like some food on your journey? Yes! Sandra says. Borky, you don't understand That's... them. I understand food. Go smoke that food. Go that food. I know that uh, word. Yes. <clears throat> uh, yes, please. That's what... That would be lovely, thank you. Uh, she packages a, uh, a decent amount of rations, about 10 rations for you guys. Cool. Woohoo! Of various different foods, uh, berries, fruit, uh, definitely like a late summer amount of food. Nice. Notably, you realize that you guys left at like the beginning of the summer. It's like almost early fall. Wait, for real? Oh. Yeah, time has passed. Wait a minute. Wait, are we in the realm of Discord? Wait, hold on, hold on. Are we talking about this right now? I mean, we can. You know, guys, they've, uh... Feels a little bit chilly. It's not like it doesn't feel like summer, you know what I mean? And them trees over there, it's already turned a little shade of yellow. It's a bit blustery. Euphoria, how does time dilate when in the realm of Discord? Oh, like Ed, like Edward's thing, right? I, I think, I think I remember this. So time. Remember room. when we ask, pulled... ask if they have some way to transport us to Alavas quicker than just walking. I don't think they've evolved to that point, Task. I, 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 I look look around. Is there like a cart they have or something? God no. Yeah, I figured. How many days walk uh, was it? From the Northlands to Alabaster. Oh, that's a good question. I think it was pretty short. I think it was just a day almost. Yeah, it, it didn't take long. Yeah. Let's once you hit the fuck zoom. <laughs> once, let's, yeah, once, let's... once you hit the beach, it's a very like straight path, which is very clear and not e like there's no there's no rivers or giant mountains in your way. Right. Let's let's there oh, is let... a boat though. There was that boat that the two orcs managed. That's true. Was... We should, we could probably double time it back to Alabast. Yes, please. If you guys got three days, we should be able to make it. Yeah, if we huff it. But we do need to sleep, or we're gonna start taking on exhaustion. Yeah. I would like a nap. Sindra mm, kind of looks around. How about I treat you to a meal? You can sleep, <gasps> and I will provide you with lanterns, and you can walk back with those. That sounds fantastic. Perhaps not <laughs> to be rude, but perhaps you'd be willing to trade for them. What would you like in return? Of course. Anything from the city is good. Mm. Mm. I have a bottle of ink. Very nice. You can write with it or draw with it. Oh. I have okay. playing cards. Uh, she kind of tilts her head at that. Okay. Uh, I have a small... Okay. Let me go through my list here. Oh, I have a bottle of wine. She wants that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Give her the deep known wine. <laughs> and she wants the ink as well. You okay. Now, I want to hold up. You sure you don't want to give that wine to Helga? That's, oh. my, that's my job. That was my secret goal. Okay, fine. That might be... We, we might not allow that. Okay, so I have... But let's roll it back. I have a hammer, a pick, a stone knife, and a small pick. Uh, she is willing to trade over a lantern that's fully fueled with oil for the ink and for the small pick. 
Sure. Done deal. Done deal. She hands it off to you. Ooh. It's a very, very nice lantern. Cool. Right. You guys get a nice rest. You guys fully heal. Uh, as you wake up in the morning... No need. Uh, task. Mm -hmm. You're really thirsty. Oh boy. Like really, really thirsty. Hmm. Dehydrated. Well, find us a source of water and drink then. All right. There's like a like a rainwater barrel, and you just kind of drink out of it. You're still thirsty. Oh, for fuck's. Sake. Even Euphoria is like chugging back her water skin and she's really thirsty. Oh, damn it all. As the night comes comes in, the full moon still basking over the sky, you are handed over a lantern. Frelda reluctantly exits her room. I apologize for my actions earlier. Assuming you have tongues casted. Yeah. Uh, it lasts for... This is no. after an eight-hour rest, by the way. Ah, I'll, I'll just... Yeah. Here is a charm for safety. She hands you... It looks like some sort of, like, uh, small animal charm. Uh, it appears to be made with uh, the tail of something. You're not sure? Hmm. Um, and a bunch of different types of teeth kind of in like a, uh, like a, sort of like a chain, like a, like a B chain and then like the tail at the end. Thank you. Thank you for visiting us, albeit unannounced. We are trust trying us. To... Hmm? No, go ahead. I was about to say, trust us, we would have been way more formal, but circumstances were rather unexpected. It is okay. There are sometimes travels who get lost who come here. All right. Uh, let us be on our way then. All right. You guys leave, and notably, you notice that those two orcs are gone. Hmm. Hmm. You guys make your way out. As you guys leave the front door, you hear, Shit! you hear, hey! Turn around? Yeah. You look up and you see Bjornsson. Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh, I've just woken up. Good journey. You were asleep for a long time. I am on night watch. Watch out. That's what I'm supposed to, that's what night watch is. Mm -hmm. just... Best of luck to you then. We do not need Sorry luck. We, could... we have Sorry we couldn't stay time. for longer. It is understandable. You are people from the city. You always have to be somewhere. Sure. We'll go with that one. Eh, it kind of gives you like a cheeky <laughs> smile. <laughs> Best of luck. Do not get swept away by ocean. <laughs> Jeez. I don't know if that's appropriate. But I have a flashback. <laughs> 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 to the United Oran clergy throwing my ass into the ocean. Ah! Hey, Mom, did we ever tell you about the time we almost drowned because a bunch of zealots uh, tied us and threw us into the ocean? Are we ready? Um, we made before. the whole religion angry. <laughs> and I oh, killed your champion. You guys light your lantern and you set forth the sound of the sea rolling over. The dark of night, you see the array of stars that make up the mapping of the sky as you move forward. Eventually, as the sun rises, you see on the cusp of the horizon, Alidvas. Oh. Something's different as you get closer. The attic, as it sits on this precipice. There are four chains coming off into various different parts of the city wall. And you see now one has crumbled. Oh. And floating in its place, chained to it, is a slightly smaller crystal. Oh. Hovering slightly above. 
The rising sun gleams through this gemstone. Guessing this has something to do with you, right, Ed? My name's, my name's Bulky, but I don't think so. I can't possibly Shh. solve this mystery, I'm... can you? <laughs> Reach. Removed. Remedy. Return. And that is where we will end this session for tonight. Yeah! yeah. That was nice. Yeah. All right, bye, Austin. Back, back it out, man. Bye, Austin. Someone in chat said, Megalovania hits! Did it end? No. Did it end? Oh my god. We will be back uh, at it in the city after October, guys, in November. Yeah. Oh, man. Go <laughs> in November. Uh, Do you oh, remember? Man. Also, I'm going to alert people now. Um, there is going to be a special stream upcoming in October. The time is yet to be done. We'll be doing an announcement for it. Um, Jack and myself, I believe Mr. Rabbit and Shahalam want to do a stream where we go over how we design some of the creatures in the Unexpectables. Cool. For those of you who see the artwork, uh, we're going to be going over the Discord Devils. Um, let me see, we have a list here. It, things might be, get removed. Mm -hmm. uh, we're probably going to go over the Discord Devils and Omnima, uh, Fleur de Mort's design. Tiengo's design, cool. Kamernar, Muedos, and the Sunburn. The sunburn so, is so cool. It's it's super interesting stuff. I got a little I got a little uh, a, a taster last night when uh, yeah. all three all three of us were in a call together, and it's it's interesting stuff. You really uh, got um, to go. Um. Oh my God. Uh. I'm sorry. Not to not to take away from this real no, fast. No, it's but... fine. Uh, Boo Radley just sent me. Oh, something. he just showed that to me as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Wait, what's up? Arts. What's up? Here, I'm posting it in our. Show, show it at the end. Can we show it at the end tonight? I think I, if it is what I think it is, we're gonna. Blah, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna. This, mm, mm, mm. All right. Oh lordy. Yeah, don't say anything till the end here. Uh, please, Connor, if you can, tell us a little bit about what's happening in the month of October. I'm sorry. October. In. Orktober. In Orktober. Cortag, Gronk, Pieces, and Ah will be back sailing through the cosmos on De Cruiser in De Cru Part 2. I'm so excited. I'm Hell so yeah. absolutely it's gonna be excited. It's it's sure to be a rumble. Oh it, yeah. It actually it, it, it'll feel so good to just be that sadistic all over again. <laughs> Especially oh, after... Do I have a show for you? Yeah, this new... <laughs> Connor, can you say that the new system you're rolling with has uh, been fun to work uh, with? It's definitely easier to work with than the old Rogue Trader system. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rogue Trader. But uh, we're, we're going to be switching over to a new system for the crew part two. Wrath and Glory, Warhammer 40k is what we're going to be going forward with for uh, Orktober from now until the easily foreseeable future. Uh, we're also having some, I, I also have implemented with the help of, uh, with the help of somebody who worked on the, uh, who worked on the old Warhammer RPGs, some homebrew stuff made specifically by him. Mm. And uh, we'll be showing that off for, uh, for Wrath and Glory as well. That is fantastic. Hey, Goomba, where can they find you, man? You guys can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Gaijin Goomba, but also be sure to check out my work on YouTube talking about culture and gaming and anime. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, we're either going to be getting back into Monster Hunter World Iceborne, or we'll be continuing our quest in uh, Link's Awakening. Still trying to figure that one out, but uh, yeah, look forward to that. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Zeta, where can they find you? Find me at twitch.tv slash Zito. Uh, tomorrow will be more Loot the Bosses Ultimate Race Creator, where we, the chat, you, the chat, randomly generates a new race, and we get to show it off on stream. Uh, it's hilarious. Right, it's, it's fucking astounding. It's so good. Uh, also, you can, you can see my race in there, the Reaver. Yes, and mine, the Klyfu, which are giant fruit bats. Uh... 
you uh, you can also check out uh, a lot of indie games came out. A shit ton of indie games. I'm really excited to show you guys. Stick around for Friday. Uh, Distant, uh, Rivals of Aether mods. We, we got all kinds of stuff on Friday. Awesome. Awesome. Monty, where can they find you? Ah! They can find me at Montagu on Twitter, which I keep slur I keep messing up my words. Uh, Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. There will be no streams this week, obviously, because nope. I'm going to TwitchCon. Not yeah. just but not just you. you can, I'm going. Not you. Get out of here, Kurt. I'm going. <laughs> hey, don't put words in my mouth. Jesus. Um, but mom said we home, had to share. No. Oh. Um, on the fourth, I'm getting my cat as well. I figured I should probably Woo! mention that. So. Goblin. 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 Yeah. Goblin. Uh, I have everything set up for her, uh, including collar and everything and all kinds of stuff. So that's going to be exciting. So you probably see pictures of that on my Twitter. And then uh, once, you know, we come back, it's going to be Thursday once again. We're doing Skies of Arcadia. Uh, and then Sunday's kind of whatever. I kind of want to get the Goose game and be an agent of chaos. Hell yeah. Embrace the chaos. And guys, you can find me right here. Uh, no, no streams this weekend because I am also going to TwitchCon with Monty. Oh my Christ Almighty! Woo! <laughs> uh, we should. We're going to be doing a couple events. I think, we're I think there's a meet and greet on Friday or Saturday. I will get you more information as it becomes apparent. But yes, our goals are to see Octopip and Joe Cat, and for me, Marty. Yeah, sorry, Marty the Moth. But no, aside from that, folks, uh, nothing much else really. Important. Also, we're ambassadors. Now, remember, Nadine, we have diplomatic immunity. I'm going to punch the first person I see in the face. No, make sure they <laughs> deserve it. Because <laughs> oh, people can still... Bad guy from lethal weapon? Yes. Oh, my God, yay! I get to be oh, Alan no. no, Monty's got to stand it's up. You're not Monty. Revoked. You got, you got, yeah, best, best, best one-liner in action movies, I think. Ah, you cannot stop me. I have diplomatic immunity. Guy just shoots a bang. It's like, oh, fuck it. We're done with this. Uh, but yeah, we are really excited there, but I got a couple people I got to shout out real fast before we end with that video that was sent to me by Brew Radley, Red Wing 52 with 500, bitch. This was an incredible session. I didn't manage to get Twitch on tickets in time, but I will be there for the city weekend. A cruel twist of fate. But really hope I managed to run into you. Thank you for the 500 bits. Luke a lot with a thousand bits. Have a good vacation, buddy. Also, episode title idea. We are, where are we? <laughs> where are we? Oh, nice. Where are we? That's, that's pretty simple and very great. That's a, it's a it sums up. It's a pun too. Oh my god, it's a pun. I love that. That's it. yeah, yeah. That's good. Uh, that's Wolven good. the six. It's eight. Lost hanging fruit is delicious. Wolven the six with a thousand bits. What time is Monster Hunter World this Sunday, Gaijin? Also, have a nice vacation, Monty. Seven p.m. U.S. Central. Thank you, Wolven the six, and thank you for saying that. And RG home with fifteen hundred and fifty bits. Let's do this. Heart, 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 heart. Well, thank you so much. Uh, Master Monster with a thousand bits. Thanks, 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 Zito. Now I'm thinking of Mr. Plinkett, but he talks like Dracula. <laughs> I want to suck your blood. I want to suck your blood. I, I want plasma. <laughs> oh, no, I just bit garlic. Oh, no. <laughs> right, dang, punch. Thank you for the 500 bits. Hello. Cryptic Shia Jet with 100 bits. Beware the Chupa Gobla. Oh. <laughs> Not bad. It, it, where are we is so strong though but thank you so much yeah, daisy no, head with, like and, but thank you guys if you brought bits or we missed it i do apologize for subs but let us end with this video sent to us by boo radley uh one more thing should i, should I let yeah, yeah you, you, about you what go ahead. for my level no you can tell them if you want to yeah 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 oh no a lot of you were wondering a lot of you were wondering uh in the chat i saw you uh what class i took my options were warlock Cleric and Paladin. I chose to stay Bard. Oh! Gasp! <gasps> Shock and awe. To be fair, nine is a power spike, so. And ten is my real power spike. Inject. Some of you may have may have uh, seen definitely uh, in the, in the chat that a couple of my stuff was was bigger and badder. Uh, so yeah, I, I stayed pure bard, level nine. Ah, virgin bard. You're a gold star bard, dude. Mm -hmm. Woo! Alrighty, but we're gonna take this video away.
I've you seen can't. some some teasers, some appetizer bits of this, and I was like, oh no, yeah. that's what you he needed me to say. Me on su- he showed me on Sunday. I was just like, oh, that's course, why you man. had oh, me send the yeah. logo. Yep. That's yeah. why you had me send the yeah. logo. Oh yep. my, ah ah. It's good. It's good. It's Except so- for Tubbs is in it, so you know it. Could it's great. It, great. Ten out of ten. Hundred out of a hundred. <laughs> Rick and Morty. A million years. I love it so much. <laughs> I, Very Boo Radley, good. and all the contributors. Sorry, there's a lot of people who contributed to this. I want to get to their names and personally thank them. Holy shit. Blackfoot Ferret. Who that's the, with Leap Bits. Blackfoot Ferret, thank you so much for the Leap Bits. Background artist contributed by Toku Nerd 83 Joji Senpai, 18. Siggy Koo. Theropard Art. Sir Malervik. Darky Arts. Salmnat. Miss Tweedums. Zool the Cat. Caitlin C37. Cadubuthar, Triple Zero, and Brachizoid. Boo, Brachizoid, boo! Boo, boo! I'll see you no, on no, Sunday, no. my dude. But I will. we will be meeting Therapod Art probably at TwitchCon. Yay! Well. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Take, take mm. their hand. Give them a good job, hug. guys. Give them that old Christian side hug. That's good. Man, I, That's man, good. I, I play a Sunday game with three of those nerds. I use the old music, fuck, but I think it'll sync up. I honestly like like this. I honestly think, I don't know if it's possible, it's something we talked to off the stream, but if... if Bradley, we can negotiate. Not now, but maybe after October. Bradley, what do you want? I'll give you ten gold for it. (laughs) Make another one. (laughs) A whole potato. A whole potato. Uh, 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 No. I'm sorry. Republic credits are nothing here. Only. (laughs) No, they won't. You think you're some kind of Jedi waving your hand around like that? (laughs) How about a game of chance for no reason? Where are we... Where are we taking this party? I I don't I don't know where we should take them. We have uh, Panda Assassin. Uh, panda, well, I've raided Panda a couple times, but I'm okay with raiding Panda. He's we an, also he, have Octopimp. Yeah, nah, he doesn't Octopimp. need it. He did well in September. Uh, I I have a suggestion. <laughs> Who do you got? Uh, there's this guy named Shy White Mage. He's been a very big supporter of myself and a few other people. He just got started. Uh, he's a big sweetheart. And if I had a if I had to suggest anyone, I'd suggest him because he just got started. He's been a very big supporter of myself and and, and some other people. And uh, I don't know. I want to give him a break. No, right. Well, you want to write down his name below? Yeah, yeah, type, that. type out his name because I think before a big thank you from all of us. Uh, myself and Monty will be at TwitchCon as well. I want to play. Yeah. This, I, want, I want to play this damn video one more time. I just it's, yeah, go for it. It's so good, and I, I think we should also open the art stream with it, and inject it into our veins. Oh my god. Alrighty, thank you so much for grabbing that name, and we will end you with this, folks. Thank you so much for joining See us here. See you in October. Oh, orcs, 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 orcs,